Yo, what's up? Alright, so I gotta meet somebody in here today, so I figured I might as well just stream it. Um, we're gonna get some more people for the um, Weasel News, so let's go ahead and do it. I usually never stream this early, but this is the only time they could get on. Alright. Let's do that so they know I'm on. Who's stealing a car right now? Hello, Sky. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. I'm going to rip his car. Alright, let's get a vehicle. Um, I get my bike. Oh, that's her. Okay. Ten minutes, like ten minutes, to tsunami or some shit. Hey, this guy. Hey, did you need to talk to Molly? Oh yeah, yeah. You know where she is? She's in, she's in the truck right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, hi. Um. <laughs> Uh, yo, I'm gonna be down at Weasel News. Um, I got uh -huh. some work to do down there first. Alright, okay. uh, Tsunami's in 15. The oh, news for room. Yeah. Okay. Um... That's, I was just giving you a heads up on it. Yeah, actually, we can talk here. Hey, what's up, everyone? What's up with this car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking wet with this car for a bit. I didn't do stuff My to dog. Hey, right, your dog's right there. Who wants to do stuff to jump his car with me? Um, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't choose death today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so, Hello. um, it's nice to officially meet you. My name's Sky Olson. I don't know if you heard of me before. That's a nice dog. Thank you, it's Zeus. Zeus. He's an asshole. Oh. He is an asshole. He oh. likes to eat everyone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, His I... favorite food is human. Uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, I, I should keep my distance from him. It's fine. So, um, I heard you do some... You, um, you're in charge of the magazine? Uh-huh. Yep. Awesome. We're actually, um, you know, we could use somebody to, you know, help do our magazines and whatnot. Um, yeah? We, yeah, yeah. We we pay a lot of money, dude. Like, the Ooh. big bucks. So, you know, um, maybe if you come down to Weasel News, I could give you a tour and, you know, we could hire you as one of our employees. I mean... Rowan. Hello. Yeah? You think she's gonna we kill me now? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that hair? No good. Hey, yo, man. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Sorry. yeah. But yeah, that sounds good to me. All right. Well, um, yeah, we're we're still kind of new, so we still got a lot of work to do down at the uh, HQ. Um, we don't even have locks yet, but that should be fixed soon. Um. But we we got a lot of stuff coming soon, Fucking so. hell, man. Where's Timothy? I oh, supposed to beat on. the guy's ass over there. What? Yeah, yeah I beat did. him up. I fucking killed him, man. Who? The fucking stupid fucking pirate. Oh, um, oh, the pirate again? Not gonna oh, pirate again. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Oh, what the? Oh, oh, what the <laughs> fuck, man? What is he doing, man? Oh no! I'm gonna pirate. kill it. <laughs> fucking stupid guy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking gun! Give me a gun now! I swear to fucking God! Oh, yeah. I swear to God! I swear to God, Molly, I'm gonna murder you, you motherfucking stupid yeah, that's girl! Dog. That's my like dog! It. You her! Bro! You her! Not the I dog! I fucking would! <laughs> oh my god! No, Zeus, come back! Stop attacking oh, him! Zeus. <laughs> go, 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 go. Zeus can fucking suck my penis five times over to fucking prick. 
I'm sorry, Zeus is an asshole. No, uh, no. Uh, okay, who was it? Oh, oh, this it was this dog. fucker here, she got her dog to attack me. Put it down. Uh, <laughs> Alright, mom, you're under arrest. <laughs> what? The you are you're under easy. arrest. Hey, that's coffin boys. That's the weasel yeah, news. Is going going on boy. You can't arrest oh, him. Wait, I mean, me? if he Wait, wants what? to Her? kill box, that's oh, what I can't Wait, stop are you the guy that I need to yeah, speak to enough. about an interview? Oh, is that the, the, right, hold okay. on, you're not under arrest anymore. Oh, right. So so I applied. We got, we got connections at Weasel, don't worry. Um, I applied. I even went out and bought a press badge. Oh, I for feel real. Like I'm gonna already it's get the job, you know. True, true. Um listen, there I think there's a tsunami hitting soon, but after that it's fine. How would you meet me down at uh, Weasel HQ? We can, uh, you know, do uh, a little bit of an interview. Can I, can I get your number? Oh uh, yeah, let me get it real quick. Uh, the pirate, I don't know exactly what the pirate's Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take you on a date sometime, maybe. Yeah, I will be careful. Oh no, I'm ready for this. Alright, so, my number is... Oh, hold on. I wasn't ready. I asked a question, I wasn't ready. What's your name? Uh, my name is Sky Olsen. I think it's okay. Alright, number. One nine eight one zero two zero four two four. Okay, I'll help the other Right, I've saved that. I saved it twice for good measure. That's my number. Okay. You getting the call? Alright, nice one. Alright, I'm sorry you're not under arrest anymore. Whoa. <laughs> no, nah, raccoon. Whoa. That's epic. You don't want to mess with Molly, she's. She she can literally just you know go crazy. Become a raccoon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Molly, I think I should probably get your contact info as well since we're here. Uh huh. Do you want my number? Yeah. It's, it's Molly Harper. Now my number. Whenever you're ready, let me know. I've seen a movie. We've all got faces. We all saw. I'm gonna save your number as well, even though I don't have consent right now. Okay. <laughs> it's one three seven. Three eight one four four eight zero. I'll take you on a date sometime as well. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, pirate. Fuck off. This pirate attacked me. Pirates attack the city. That's your next headline. Does it look like a pirate? He didn't. I punched his hat off. That's my hat. I was assaulted by this guy and he stole my hat. How the fuck does that guy have an entire ATM? <laughs> oh, um, one more thing I should add is this guy over here, his name's Officer Spike. He's our, um... Here, actually, come over here. He's kind of like our insider informant with the PD, so, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> You're gonna fucking stop, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I don't think so. Here, Sir, please. Please. Stop. Stop. Why are you on the floor? Listen, you better stop. I ain't trying to get hit. It's a brain and I better know. fucking stop. <laughs> Come on, Timothy. Just let her be, man. Oh, Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Ow. I won't fucking regret this. I'll never Ow. fucking regret this. Yeah. You fucking like that? <laughs> fucking dickhead. Come on, Jimothy. Oh, stop. Oh, oh. All right, let it be, Jimothy. That's it. That's it. Owie. <laughs> Don't do it, Jimothy. All right. I love you, Jimothy. <laughs> hey, from my expert opinion, I think there was a saltier officer. <laughs> think you should think you should make the arrest. Like they, they got their, uh, you know, issues between each other. Yeah, I think they're in love. Yeah, you know what if they If you say. give me your cuffs, I'll go in for the arrest. <laughs> kick her ass in, no. I got you back, don't worry. No, no, no. Why? No. Why are they? Oh, no. You're on the There's list. more violence. You're on the list. What fucking list, man? The list for people who endanger themselves. Stop with the list! Enough with the list! I don't the endanger list. anybody, I said Enough everybody. With the list! I'm gonna lose them.
listen. I can't even uh, hear what you're trying to tell me to do, so I'm not gonna accept that. I already it, got please. in trouble with it. Touch no, me. What is it? Touch, Touch me. me. No. Give me what some skin. Give me some skin. the police no. have been recently. What the fuck? Just a handshake. Cheers, man. With your penis. Put it's your penis away. Oh, by the way, somebody that's awesome. already made me suck their wheelie, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, whoa. Shit again. yeah, I know. Whoa. All right. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. god. What is going on oh, no. today? Oh no, Jimothy's coming. Oh no. Jimothy's going for the pirate. I bet you anything. Sorry for hitting you, Sky. Oh, no worries. Well, that was really nice. Jimothy is nice, you fucking twat. Why'd you have to go he, and say it like that? Uh, he's, he fucking shoots me every time I talk to him. Because you're an asshole. Easy peasy, everybody wants to shoot asshole. you. Asshole? Yeah. When did I shoot wow. you, man, actually? <laughs> every oh, single last time. <laughs> last night. Literally <laughs> every single time. There hasn't been one you know, time I haven't gotten shot by you. though, because you shot me off the building, and he fucking super yeah. pushed you off the building. <laughs> And so we both oh. fell off the building at the opposite sides, man. Yeah, but the only difference is that you got turned on, smacked on, slapped on, and donked okay, on. Okay, okay. The only difference is, let's be serious, if I had my right, uh, right. plate on, you would have been right. tucked up. Yeah, right. pepperoni, pepperoni. Right. Yeah. Right. My money's on Jimothy okay. at this point. Yeah, my money don't jiggle jiggle. It yeah, folds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Get close to me, you, you fucker. Let's beat up this car. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Money don't jiggle jiggle with balls. You wanna see me wiggle wiggle? For sure. Do it, Jimmy. Wiggle, wiggle it. Dribble, dribble. Break on the hood of his car so he can't do nothing. Okay. Oh my there god. There you go. Show what you got, Jimothy. Alright, what you got, Jimothy? Come on. You know what I got. Show me what the bros are. Oh, yeah, oh shit! Oh, you wanna see me win? Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Mickey likes seeing your balls jiggle, Jimothy. Oh, you wanna see those? <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. God. Spike yeah, yeah. loves watching balls jiggle, Jimothy. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's Here it up. is! Oh, okay. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at that. That's no, what you like. bro. You like that one? Okay, let me put the wipers on, man. <laughs> what the fuck? So you can see him clearly. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? Nice, <laughs> <Christ>, man. <laughs> is he Spike? Spike wanted to see his balls jiggle, so Jimothy's no, giving him a not. show. <clears throat> What's the pirate doing? Well, hey, I never guys. asked for any of this. Work oh. it, Jimothy. There you go. Yep. Yeah. If you work it, let me work it. Flipping <laughs> down, flipping and reverse it. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, man. This is the best time, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn your goddamn lights off. You're giving me a sepalactic seizure, man. And you turn on the sun. Sepalactic seizure. Oh. <laughs> Good spike. Alright, I'm gonna get a power nap before tsunami. I'll see y'all afterwards. Okay. Right, I gotta go store my car before it goes, uh, shabam. To the depot, and then I gotta bring it back for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, I'm gonna leave it here so you have to bring it back. Let me check my phone. How many are in the depot? <laughs> Spike, oh go put your car away, you idiot. Let's go. Do you know you have six fucking explorers in the depot? <laughs> well, that's, that's a piece of shit anyways, to just fucking flip. Yeah, because you go, ah. Uh... Spike, go put your fucking car away, you idiot. I'm yeah. the best driver LSPD has seen, man. Bull yeah. fucking shit. Chase me. What do you mean? Chase you? you know, what did I chase you? You know, yesterday we was in a chase. We was what in a chase yesterday, car? man. 
his fucking friend left him in the passenger seat. I held him <laughs> up and took his car off him. <laughs> and then, and then, and then we went on the roof, and then I clapped your dumb ass. Yeah. Yep. That happened. I Ima imagine, it. imagine shooting, shooting somebody that's standing still and still missing your whole magazine. Yeah, it's gonna be me. Hey, and listen, man. <laughs> I was. It fuck totally you. Is you, you. Fuck oh you. shit! <laughs> shit up, uh, get up, Jimothy. Like you shit yourself. Hey, <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> Right, right. Like I told you, man, I wasn't wearing my aiming glasses. If I had my aiming glasses excuse on, this, I would have fucked you up. This. Yeah, how, yeah. how does it feel Spy. that Jay Walker would have one punch did more than what you did? Oh, have you seen the signs of him? That's why he's Spy. my bodyguard. Well, you, <laughs> I, I suggest true, you true. just drive away before you get hurt. Yeah. I have no, I won't hurt it. What, what do you know, little fucking, uh, fucking slick top hair motherfucker with your fucking, uh, hat ass coat? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, if you're gonna insult someone, do it properly. I'm not good at this. I'm the I'm the good cop, right? Fuck, oh, fucking man. Fucking shit, you're the good cop. You're the asshole cop. You're worse than yeah. Wowski right now. Yeah. You really want to go there with oh, me? No. Wow. Wow. Alice, I fucking love cop, you, man. Alice. I love you, Alice. But I love you too, I gotta Jimmy. disagree on that. I think this guy's the best cop on the force, man. What? Damn. No, I disagree. Disagree. No, in my Damn. in my personal opinion. Maybe to you, Jim and they. Yeah, maybe just me, but it's the only cop I actually enjoy. Having the only thing is that uh, Alice gets along with uh, corrupt cops, and I always end up uh, firing oh, them. Oh, right. Oh, Makes yeah, sense. okay. Please so don't stop me. calling Wait, everybody a corrupt that. cop. Cool, thank you. They are. They only are the real ones. Corrupt. That's why I don't like them. Listen, some of them aren't, but there's some good bunch. Some in the good I'd bunch. rather get 150 mumps than five. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, let's okay. take this off fire. Oh, right. <laughs> this is gonna, gonna be bad. Uh, okay. okay. Oh dear. Alright. I wanna move on, on to whoever's truck this is. <laughs> you won't. No balls, you won't. You get your suspension, uh. pink man. That's red. Are you gonna be down at Weasel News after Tsunami then? Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm headed to. Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you down there then. Sounds good. Yeah, Molly, get a real job, man. Stop fucking robbing ATMs. Okay. Oh, I, I made bad decisions, okay? Oh, it's fine. Away. Okay. <laughs> so we're shutting down. Okay, we'll rejoin. I'm surprised there's that many people on this morning. Pretty cool. I think I have to close and reopen it, though. I didn't know uh, tweet out the stream earlier. Okay, it's going to probably be another minute. Let me try reopening. Hey, what's up, Tony? How was, um, how's work? Finally first, yes. Server's still not on yet.
Might be a few minutes. Hey, what's up, Hannah? Um, we got some new uh, applications for Weasel News, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, they said they can only get on this morning, though. You didn't get Twitch naughty? It's all good. That's good. That's good to hear. Okay. But yeah, I already kind of talked to them. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I had to get it early because they, uh, because their time zone and whatnot. But we're gonna go and uh, do a, a bit of an interview. I think two people are waiting to do an interview this morning, and um, can go ahead and just uh. See if they're fit to join Weasel News. You were sleepy a lot at work? I definitely, uh, I've, I've had those days for sure. But the good thing about going live early, it kind of fixes my sleep schedule. It's getting kind of whack for a minute. All right, let's turn off that. You woke up at 2 a.m., man. I can't even imagine waking up at 2 a.m. I'll get my Sovereign. Alright, down to Weasel News. Hopefully nobody steals my vehicle. You got a job like that? Does it? I bet like you get paid well though, right? Because it's uh like a night shift. Don't they usually pay more? All right, there's Emily. I'll just wait here. Let me get here. It'll probably take him a few minutes. Well, if you guys if you guys haven't seen the news station, like this place is huge, dude. Like there's so much here. No tweets. Okay, that's fine. Like, we could definitely do something in here. Do some, like, news stories. But, um, we're supposed to be interviewing Molly. And there was another person. I got his phone number. Um. His name. It was, like... There's Molly, Miss Porter. Um, oh, he called me, but I never got his number back. When I work night shifts, they give me 30 cents higher. He worked 9.30 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's kind of whack, dude. Like, oh yeah, a whole extra quarter per hour. They should at least, like... Oh, that's just so stupid, bro. You did 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. Didn't work long because my normal hour works 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Gosh, dude, that's a that's such a long, long hours, bro. Uh, do you at least like enjoy what you do, or like not completely hit it? Because like I've had like jobs where I worked at a grocery store. If I had to do that for like 12 hours, I would just like I would die. Like, actually. Hey, man. Hey, what's going on? Uh, we're just waiting for one more person, and we should get started with the interviews. But, um... 
But yeah, I guess since you're down here, I'll introduce you to Emily. She's a receptionist, you know, she does basically anything we need to get done. And yeah, so. Oh, I'm on the desk. Hold on. Oh, that's fine. Desk, I do that all the time. Does Emily mind? Uh, Emily, Emily, do you mind? She's not a big talker. I, I guess it's fine. Uh, I feel like me and Emily will get along. I just bought something off her, so I gave her money, so that means that she now has to like me. They're the rules. True. So we're waiting for Molly, is it? The one that he said? Yeah, uh, yeah, Molly. Says... Um, I actually didn't get a chance to save your number. Um, I'll have to get oh. it again. Yeah. I'll, I'll call you. I'm not as uh, good as everyone else, and I don't save my own number. Probably make things easier. I don't know how to stop this. Hold on. There we go. Oh. I can talk to the desk. Um, what's the, uh, I got 1270395. What are the last ones? Uh, 650. Alright, and your name? Michael Scott. Jesus, bro. You didn't realize it's gonna eat her, her, you didn't turn off, do not disturb, dude, I, I do have By the way, I've the got time. a question, is my shirt pink or purple, because I can't tell, and I got asked earlier and I didn't have an answer, I felt stupid. Your, uh, bow tie? No, the shirt, the shirt. Oh, the, like, the walls in here, or? No, the, the shirt. You know what I'm wearing, there's, there's, I'm wearing the, the, uh, the suit jacket and then the shirt and then the tie. Oh, the thing. shirt. Okay, yeah, yeah. It looks it looks white to me. It looks white. It looks purple. Yeah. Someone asked me if it was pink and I didn't have an oh answer, God. and I felt like a fool. Oh man. Well, you definitely look very professional. I'll tell you. I do. I am a fan of the bow tie. We we. I used to wear one all the time back when I uh you know had to do more mm. formal things and whatnot. Well, I uh I wanted to wear a tie. But the tie messed with the necklace thing, so I put the bow tie on. Ah, I see. And then I thought, you know, news is red. So, red it is. And then I, I had a conversation with an EMS for an hour about a list. And then you turned up. I also fought a pirate. But we can avoid that part. You fought a pirate? Yeah, I fought a pirate. And he said his That's ship was in my mother. Man. It was weird. And then he pulled a knife. Oh my god, that, that sounds like you live a crazy life. I have literally just got here today. Oh. Like... Like well, in, in the city? Yeah. Like, yeah. I've got cousins in the city, you know, but... Oh yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, should I get short? Dude, I honestly, I was just having a brain fart moment. So yeah, I, I got here and within an hour fought a pirate. It's amazing. I love it. Now it sounds like you live a crazy life. You'll be perfect yeah. in the industry. Mm. Yeah. Apparently the the pirate fucked my mother. But oh. So maybe I I just met my dad. I guess. Yeah, you could have. Did uh did he look like you at all? Uh, he had a beard, like a big beard, and a hat. But I stole the hat, but I've lost the hat now. I don't know where the hat is. Did he the have? Gone. Did he have like a curly mustache? No, he just had like this massive beard. Dang. He was he was called Steve, Pirate Steve, Captain Man. It's a weird name for a pirate. Well. But... Don't worry, I met some really weird people. I Yesterday, there was some dude here. I was doing a story on uh, the Pillbox Bomber. There was a guy, his name was Heisenberger. Can you believe that? Who? <laughs> Sorry, I choke sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do that too. Ah, uh, yeah, Heisenberger. Yeah. Sounds like a food chain. For real, I'm Germany. like, you guys have, like, competing with burgers? So I'm like, man, dang, dude. I'd eat Heisenberger. Honestly, I would too. If if it wasn't for the fact that uh he well I guess this guy wasn't really the bomber but he seemed pretty suspicious to me so I have to say allegedly was involved. Mm. Those are like news Ale words, you know what you know like allegedly and um 
breaking news and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember once I, uh, you know, you know, SpongeBob. I watched the Bikini Bottom news, and it said breaking news on the bottom. <laughs> that's about yeah, my experience. That's, that's kind of like what Weasel News is inspired by. Is like the Bikini Bottom news. Mm. Yeah. Except um, we're not in water. Yeah, but like we're we're the um the overwater version. Mm. I have a question. It's kind of like off topic, but hopefully you've got an answer. Okay. So how how does fire start underwater? Because I've seen it before on on the uh, the bikini bomb news and. Um, I think that it is a okay. So here's the theory behind fire underwater and SpongeBob. I'm pretty sure that bikini bottom is just like another layer of. Um, you know, like hell, and basically the water is actually fire, but you can't see it because of the way that it, it is down there. It's really just like bizarre. It's like illusion, basically. So, the, so the fire is representing hell, and Squidward is the tortured soul. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I remember that from. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm glad I asked the question now. I wonder what Emily thinks. Emily, what do you think? What did I tell you about ignoring your boss? Whoa! Oh, sorry, that sorry. That was really close. Oh, uh, that's, that's sorry. I just had um a, a spasm there. Hey, it's all good. I have some of those sometimes. Emily, we pay you five cents an hour. Why are you not answering your boss? Well, she didn't even flinch. That's the first time I, I heard her make a noise, though. She's got a very judgy face. It's like you walk in and you're immediately judged. She might be a robot, to be honest. I'm scared of robots. It's my only fear. That and the fish with the swords on the end of the face. Oh, those guys? Those are scary, dude. I seen one. It yeah. looked like a chainsaw, dude. Or like his Whoa. nose. Imagine I... evolving to have, like, weapons built in. See, Those I... fish are basically robots, that's, like Emily. That's what I don't get. Why can't we just have, like, built-in guns in, like, our, like, arms and stuff? Like a cyborg, you know? Like, that dude from, uh, what is it, Teen Titans? I've never watched it, but I was thinking, like, you know, Terminator, where they can turn oh, into, yeah, like, yeah. some weird guy. That, that tr dude, Terminator, Evolution, that would be actually crazy. I'm not going to ask Emily what she thinks, because she doesn't care, allegedly. So I'm on it. I'm on it with the terms. You're, you're already fit for the job, I can tell. Do you, uh, do you know Molly at all? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I, I just tried to arrest her, so she's probably got a really, really good opinion of me. Like, no, I'm an upstanding citizen. Oh. I enforce the law, oh. even though it's not my job, I kind of think. Oh, well, I've seen the news things, so I can see why you're getting around. I've read the magazines. Yeah, apparently, uh, she's um, you know, a world-renowned newspaper writer or cool. Mac article writer and whatnot. So that's you know, she flew in today to do this interview, and you know, I'm excited to uh, meet her for the first time finally. From what I've seen and heard, she seems a pretty decent person. True, I've seen some of her work. It's honestly just it's touching. To be honest, yeah, like the uh, the Dongo uh, thing. I forgot what she called it. Dongo's minute or something. That was very nice. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a little personal touch from Dongo. Have you met Dongo? I I haven't personally. You'll know it as soon as you run into him because he's really loud and he's Scottish. Like he's like over the top Scottish. Oh, kind of like Patty. Yeah, well, no, Paddy's Irish. Oh, they they sound like the same thing to me for some reason. I'm not good with geography. Oh, fair enough. I learned about rivers in geography, so I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> but I can tell you what longshore drift is, so that's good, I guess. Oh, Steve Lees. Oh, Steve Lees, the pirate. I just went wrong place and speak of the magazine writer welcome in hello hello 
All right, now um, if you two could follow me, this is up here is actually employees only, but since you guys are applying for jobs, you're allowed up here. Uh, there's a metal detector, so just make sure you don't have any weapons on you. I don't. I'm poor. I can't afford anything. Soon, you're about to be rich. Stinking, filthy rich. Because that's what we're about here at Weasel News. I love I have it. a question for you. Do you care if I have a no record? Uh, we can get to that. Honestly, all that matters is the work. I'm not too big on, like, crime and whatnot. Okay. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll have one person at a time, just so, you know, there's not any, uh... You know, information that doesn't want to be spread around. So if you don't mind just waiting here, if that's alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm already out of the room. I'll just go and say this desk. Oh my god. Excuse me, with the, we're having issues with the building lately, uh, some of the chairs are broken and whatnot, so... I, I don't feel comfortable sitting down on mine, I'm just gonna stand. Alright, so, uh, welcome, <clears throat> welcome, Molly, um... Oh. So, I, I heard you do, uh, magazines. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about that. Um... Well, usually I advertise them, and just like I usually charge like some money per page. A few weeks I haven't been, I've just been adding them all in. Um, but I've started doing like little news in them and things like that. Started adding more like new stuff in them. Um, but yeah, I love doing them. So you're like uh, an ind independent writer then. Mhm. Mm Interesting. Okay. Um, we do, we do appreciate people that are independent and, you know, can, uh, execute on ideas and do it themselves, so that's good. Um, let me look through my notes here. Um, so how long have you been in the city? Uh, a long, long while. Um, um. I can't tell you how long, because I don't know, but... Yeah, I, honestly, but... I can tell you've been around here for a long time. <laughs> um, okay, let me go through here. Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing you want to be applying for the newspaper columnist? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, um, just to let you know, there is... We have three positions right now that we're openly hiring for. Just knock my phone off, someone's ringing me. Oh. There you go. Um... We have investigative reporters, newspaper columnists, mm -hmm. and security. And mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, you know, reporters are mainly out in the field more. Columnists are more in charge of writing things for um, our business. And the security is just self-explanatory. So um, mm -hmm. you sound like you'd be a good fit for newspaper columnists. Mm -hmm. And that is, no, we I are in... I don't mind being in the field too if you need me to. Like, okay, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine too. Um, you know, as a, a columnist, you can go out in the field to do research and whatnot for your stuff. Um, let me go through my notes here. How what alignment would you be? So you know, like lawful, neutral, you know, chaotic, good. If you could describe yourself, what would you be? Um, uh, I can be a little chaotic. I ain't gonna lie to you. Chaotic. Honestly, that's <laughs> good in the news industry. You're in the right place. Because chaos brings drama and drama's mm -hmm. news, and that's what we need here. Mm -hmm. We need high ratings. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fred, did you not eat? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I get so into my work sometimes. God damn it, I'll take that. Hey, it seems you fell on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry for coming into the room, I'm not calling. He just saw my sheer beauty and just passed out from it. <laughs> I tried to note, but it didn't work. Why don't you call EMS? Huh? EMS are available. Are they? Well, I'll take him down to the front then. How do I get out of here? Oh. This probably isn't so, the best yeah. first impression. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know how many times I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what the stores are for. Um, 
Yeah, I guess it's like just like with swordfish, it's just like evolution, like fight off predators. I'm hoping he called EMX. You know what? I'm just gonna call him just in case. I'll give them a few minutes. If they don't show up, I'll take you in my car. It'd be fine. Alright, sounds good. Hey. Hey. I, I called EMS. Did you? Yeah, I said it's really serious. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, he's dying. It's like, oh no, this guy, his heart is just beating out of his chest. He got so nervous because he saw you and he was just, he just fainted. Yeah. Just fainted. The sheer beauty. <laughs> it's just that amazing of an interview I gave, you know. Just drop dead, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are it going? <laughs> hey. I don't think they're coming, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take him in my car. I'll stay here, because I don't have, I have a car. I have to take... Um... <laughs> I have to take... Oh, fuck, I forgot your name, man. <laughs> Sky, Sky Olsen. Sky. I have, I have to take Sky to the hospital. <laughs> I didn't do anything for once, okay? It wasn't me this time. Bro, your car is um, kind of sick. Thank you. Um, yeah, he, I gave that good of an interview that he just dropped it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, no, he, he forgot to eat. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I fit bit. I just give him mine and I ignore mine. <laughs> Uh-huh. I will. I will. Okay. Have fun with me. You're being down. <laughs> okay. I will. Don't die. Right. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to eat. All right. I feel like I should give you a warning though, when, like when you get low on hunger, you know? Why do I have a notepad? <laughs> but why though? <laughs> uh, I was trying to like, get rid of something and... <laughs> Any fumes? But my gas station's empty so we have to go to someone else's. Alright.
Uh, I'll be inside getting uh, some food. Sounds good. Um, oh, this is her work right here. I was gonna go out here and- I love it when they're out of fuel, too. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, man. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, speak of EMS. Uh -huh. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Whoa. Alright, I got this. <laughs> Alright, let's head inside. I've just got one thing to say after all that. Uh huh. Boomski, you're hired. Nice. <laughs> so now you're an official Weasel News employee. How do you feel? Feel great. That's Let's good. Go cause some chaos. <laughs> awesome. Um. Uh. So there are different pay rates that we get paid here at Weasel News by the government. We get reimbursed for our different things. So, um, for magazines, I think it's, right now, the rate is 10,000, but after tax, you'll be getting 7,500, um, mm -hmm. per magazine. Um, other things like news reports that you, uh, help out on, I think it's a lot more. It's like, um, 40,000 before tax for a one to mm -hmm. five minute news report, or 90,000 for a five to nine minute news report. Oh, so, oh, yeah. um... Those are those pay a lot more, and there'll probably be other opportunities in the future for different things. But um, but yeah, it was something to learn. All right, so I'm gonna go and interview this uh, next candidate. If you don't mind waiting out here, after we're all done, we'll do a tour, and we'll get you guys, mm -hmm. you know, familiar with some of the equipment here too. Yeah, sounds good. All right, Mr. Uh, what was it? Um, Bob. Bob? <laughs> no, it was. Uh, Scott. Michael Scott. Scott. I'm just messing with you, man. You, you don't remember your name. Sorry, I nearly forgot my own name then. Alright, so uh, go ahead and take a seat. Please state your full name. Michael Scott. Michael Scott. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Scott, which position would you be applying for today? The investigative reporter, newspaper columnist, or security? Well, I'll do a bit of uh, investigating reporting. And I can, I know I don't look very mean, but I can do a bit of security as well if you need it. Okay, investigative reporting and security. That is, um, that's very good, because we are also, we have no security right now. Um, oh, wow. But in order to be security, you do need a weapons license. Do you happen to have one? If not, we... I uh, don't, but I can get hold of one. Okay, we can uh, reimburse you for your weapons license if you don't already have one. Uh, I think it's just $5,000. Um, so we can get you set up with that. Do you have any experience with weapons at all? Um, oh, I've shot a twenty-two before. Um, okay. And that's about it. Uh, that sounds like it'd be perfect for security. Um, I've got loads of experience. Okay, um, here, wait right here for a second. We, we might have to, uh, you know, test out, you know, how good are you... Are you good at, like, diffusing situations? I'd say I am. Okay, here, w give me one second. Okay. to go and kick the shit out of someone real quick. Um, hey, hey, I'm gonna be back. There's, um, there's some guy kicking the shit out of my car. Oh, okay. Go handle that. Go handle that. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Is this the test? Yeah, I'll it's go the test. Go, go help her. Go help her. He's applied for security. He's gonna help you out. Oh. Okay. I was just gonna hit him with my branding iron, but okay. <laughs> Hey, pirate man. 
fall on the floor for me real quick. Alright, we can have a chat. So, why are you kicking the car, man? Uh, it, it jumped at me. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't see it having any legs. Well, it does have springs. Oh, are you taking any drugs tonight? Uh, Avoid the question, have you seen that stick? <laughs> you see that uh, stick over I there? Have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you carry on hitting the car, car she's going to whack you, you in the face with it. Face with oh, are we going to fight? Are we going to fight? Hey, buddy, I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should see me. I've got a mean <laughs> swing. You remember what happened earlier, right? This is the pirate I was talking about. So I think we should defuse this situation right now with you walking away that way. Exactly that way. If you walk any other way, then it's not defused, alright? Just give me a second. You've gone the wrong way, but I'll allow it. <laughs> Don't you dare go and kick my car, I'll come and fucking whack you around the head with this. See that bike that you're getting on right now? Good job, go. <laughs> That's the wrong way, sir. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! I'd say, uh, situation <laughs> diffused. Ah, uh, that was a good job. You did a good job there. Alright, I think he's gonna come back, you know, he looks like the sort that, um, he's gonna turn around and come back. Yeah, he's just waiting in that car park. And then I'd call the police. Alright, good. Did you, um, what'd you say to them? what do you say to the police? Yeah, what'd you tell them? Like, there's a guy just going around? There's a guy kicking cars, we need help. Okay, good, good. And then I'd shoot him. <laughs> really? They pulled really? the weapon maybe, out. Maybe a little excessive, that might bring us a lawsuit. <laughs> well then what I'd do instead is I'd, I'd threaten to shoot him if he doesn't leave, and then I'd call the police and the police would do it for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh right. okay. You know what the police are like. Alright. All right, I'd say that's a good test of you being security. Um, let's see. So, do you know about the alignment chart, like lawful, good, chaotic, neutral, stuff like um, that? Is it the thing that I ticked in the boxes that where the box? Yeah. Oh, you uh, you filled out a um an application. I filled out an application. Okay. Yeah. Let me just look. So I tick I ticked all the days, but I won't probably won't be able to do all the days because in head okay. I've got rotated shifts, so it just changes every day. Okay. So I, um, I'm, whenever I'm not there, I'm here. You know what I mean. Um, let me look at your application real quick. Hold on. Alright. Okay, Michael Scott. How do I sort this? Individual. Okay. I'm zone UK. Investigate reporter. Okay, I see you've worked for VU, Security, Henhouse, and the police before. Yeah, well, cousins cousins have, but I guess technically, you know what I mean. Okay, okay, that's that's good. Um, you call yourself True Neutral. Where's my, where's my girl at? Uh, so, I, I clicked that because I didn't fully understand it at the time. But I mean, oh. I'm doing. I'm willing to do sort of whatever to get a story, you know what I mean? So you're willing to do anything to do... For the news, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I will um, sit in a jail cell uh, overnight if oh. I have to like go and get you know information that's not exactly legal. So you're dedicated then. That's what I'm I like to hear. Dedicated, yeah. You know what? Um, we do have a Discordia. I I think I'll email you about that later, and uh, we'll get you, you know, your business stuff ready. Mm. But um, it sounds like you're hired. Whoa. That's right. I'm you happy. look you look exactly fit for the part and I think you're dedicated enough. So congratulations, sir. You're now an official Weasel News Security slash investigative reporter. How do you feel? Happy. Sorry, that was a really bad word. I'll, I'll hold that's, on. Let me that's think. fine. Let me think on it. Let me think on it. Uh ecstatic, allegedly. Ecstatic, allegedly. I love it. Already with the, the buzzwords, dude. Breaking news, I'm happy. Sir, who are you? Hey, employees oh, only, do you work here? No. No? Go downstairs, please talk to Emily. Hello. Oh, yeah, we already talked with Emily. Oh, okay, yeah, well then I retract my uh, statement, allegedly. Uh, sir, I'm sorry, but this is employees only up here. He's just stolen your cereal. 
it's fine. Why do I need your phone number? Ooh, my coffee is ready. He's, he's my partner, so, you know. Oh, okay. like partner, partner? Well, like idiot. you're not available kind of thing? <laughs> no, I just yeah. need your... Yes. I, I seem to know when a lot of shit's happening, so I was just going to get Sky's number. Was all. Okay, uh, you see my contact info? He's a magnet for bad things. <laughs> Good coffee. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll read off my number for you. Who? Him, in the back. Sitting in the coffin. 198-102-0424. Alright, perfect, man. I'll just like do a quick call for you, and then... Alright. Yeah, my number's in there. Alright, man. Good. Thanks. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for the cereal as well. No problem. <laughs> Sorry about him. Uh, it's all good. All right. He just makes himself at home right now. Um, I'm gonna get. Where's uh, where's Michael at? I'm here. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys introduced with the equipment since you guys are now employees here. You guys get your very own Weasel News equipment. So. Oh hell yeah! Do I get to shove a camera in someone's face? Absolutely. The... So, Why? Why? <laughs> I apparently uh, I accidentally bought a camera off of um. Oh no, I didn't. I bought a microphone. Huh? I bought a microphone off Emily by mistake. She swindled me. Oh, Emily, you shouldn't be swindling people. Yeah, I know someone hit my cock. What are we doing? Sorry. Um, I'll be getting you guys equipment. Just one second. Oh, nice. I already have a mic. Okay, this camera's for you. Is it working? Alright, there you go. And then, uh, this stuff is for you. I'm bad with people's names, I can't remember. Thank you. No problem. And uh, if you guys just want to uh, get, I don't know if you guys are already familiar with how to use cameras and whatnot, but um, you know, if you take it out, you should be able to hold it. And then you can, um, there's a, a button on the, the camera. There's like a left button and a right button. If you click the right button, you should get like options to do different things and whatnot. Um, there's the uh, the news title option at the bottom. I would usually change that if you're gonna do any type of breaking news and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's pretty simple to use, pretty straightforward. And you know, once you guys are familiar with that, you can go and get your microphones. And while you're holding oh, it, you know, shit, you can basically just hold it out. It'll work with any camera. It's pretty, uh, you know, pretty easy to use. Okay, sick. And one more thing, we do have vehicles. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our oh. news van. Usually it costs around a hundred dollars to, you know, get one out, but. <laughs> Is that on my car? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, you guys probably shouldn't no, park in that, that spot. Car. Yeah, our car's over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can get out of this. Yeah, Whose car is this down here? That was the one that got ran. Which one? The, the bottom one? Uh, no, I don't no. Okay, no idea. I'm know. sorry. That was an accidental, uh... Are you gonna tell them that that was your car? Huh? You're gonna tell them this is your car? This is my I'm poor. I don't have a car. Why don't you just ram the bottom car with the, uh, the other cars? Right, you're my right hand man. You already know what I'm gonna say before I say it. <laughs> See, it worked. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you're my guy. 
You can't be my right hand man. <laughs> Why not, right. though? Because you're not a man. El Bozo. Yeah, yeah, you're my left hand woman. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be testing your investigative skills. Uh -huh. um, we're going to be looking for some news to happen, so just keep your eyes peeled. And uh -huh. hopefully we can find something to report on. You guys- Are you gonna do a thing on the Strangler? Um, we could at some point. So that's another thing. Um, in our forums, our business forums, we do have places for like current projects being worked on and, you know, ideas for different things we could do. Or, you know, just basically any ideas. So feel free to leave those ideas there. But I think right now we have, you guys know Rachel Porter? No. No. Okay, well, well she's- a little bit. I've she's, met her once. She's, um, you know, she's another employee here. She's very good at what she does. Um, she does have a lot of ideas for shows and whatnot, so... Maybe at some point, you know, you guys might come across her and, you know, join for that. I think one of the ideas was a cops show. Um, where we basically follow along with cops and, you know, to their day-to-day -day lives. And maybe one of you guys would be interested in doing that. Yeah, I'm down for that. I don't yeah. know if we can run with the cameras though. Oh yeah, that's... that's the ATM, remember? Sorry, radio is going ham. One more thing, I don't really care too much if you guys are, you know, into crime, but if you guys get caught, then that's kind of like a, a lawsuit on Weasel News, so that is kind of costly, just, you know, be careful not to bring too much crime on business grounds and whatnot. Oh yeah, I won't do crime when I'm doing this. Alright, that, that's pretty much the only thing I care about. <laughs> so I have a question. Yep, yeah, what's your question? Do we, do we use the van when we're doing new stuff? Yeah, yeah. Anytime they're doing any type of new stuff, you can use the vans. Absolutely. Right. We are supposed to have a chopper, but uh, it's kind of, you know, being worked on. It's in maintenance. Mm -hmm. I, I can fly. If, uh, if you need you someone can fly? to do okay. that. Okay, that's good. Same. So what's the moral ground here? I mean, how fucked up can we go? Okay. Well, well, at Weasel News, we just gotta make sure that, you know, we don't incriminate anybody. We don't go out of our way to get anybody in trouble. Uh, we only report on the truth. Unbiased news. And, right. you know, you can, you know, your personal investigations are your business. I'm not gonna ask you about it. Um, but just keep in mind that we can't, like, you know, I have a lot of crime going on at the business. Just, you know, do what you gotta do. I reckon right. gangs would be a good target then, because we'd be like, interview gang members and see what that's all like. True. I, you know, I don't have too many connections with gangs around these parts, but... I do. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay. That, yeah. That's actually good then, because we could, you know, go and... I know every gang leader... Most of their members what are in them as well. Oh yeah, pretty connected uh, in that way. That's good because we could also do like um, insider scoop of, you know, the lives of gang members and try and bring awareness to you know, police uh, corruption and them mistreating gang members and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. I hear there's a lot of lawsuits, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, good. I mean, good in like a uh, news standpoint. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, when you're on the, uh, the news van, just try to, you know, not get pulled over in it. Uh, cause that's another lawsuit for Weasel News, and it makes us lo look bad. Uh huh. And if we look bad, then people don't trust us, and it's just terrible, so... Yeah. Do 
you guys um have any experience with like filmmaking or like putting together you know shows and whatnot so i i, I can use like editing software i guess okay i'd have to get some though that's good that sounds good yeah i, I can do the same thing really I know you're quite good at, like, pictures, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, thumbnails and shit like that, and advertisements, and... That's good. We That's a, a very in-demand skill here at Weasel News. Mm -hmm. Have you guys happened to ever be at Uwu Cafe? I've been a few times, but not that many, to be honest. Well, uh, Uwu Cafe is like our... What's what's the word? Like, they're our ally? They're like, um... We're on, like, the same turf and whatnot, and, you know, I have connections here, so... Uh, here, I'll just, like, bring you guys up there real quick. You guys can get an idea of what it's like. So uh, right now it's closed. I don't we think. Got a load of shots going off at Innocence. Um. Right now. Wait, one say of again. My friends is saying. So one of my friends is saying there's a lot of shots popping off near Innocence. Oh, Innocence. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. Where are Innocence? Yeah. Uh oh. All right, just mark it on the GPS. Hold on. Should already Where be on there, I think. Okay. Where the tattoo parlor is. Alright, alright. When there's like a Wait, big when on, there's a big there. news story, it, sometimes you can just run the lights, you know? As long as you don't get caught. Oh you block it because I have no idea where that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's up there, hold on. There we go. I didn't realize Innocence was that big. Yeah, we're on our way over there. Thanks, Jay. I said we're on our way over there. Huh? For letting me know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The shots? Are we going to be able to get, like, a police scanner at some point so we get notified to calls? Oh, that'd that be is, sick. That is something I could look into. Because, I mean, if you have to personally hire people, it won't be down to, like, someone can just get the job, get a police scanner, and You know, I might be able to buy one off of, uh, one of my connections. But, um, well, that's something definitely worth looking into. Well, I think he lied. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding, Jay? Where, where are these fucking shots at, man? <laughs> but where? Just get him to ping you a location on your phone and you can mark it that way. <laughs> I think he just died. <laughs> I think he just died. Died? Like, I think he's unconscious. Oh. Jay, you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that's a hard no. <laughs> Fuck's sake. No, no, man. There was a local gang war happening, he said. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, Spike, what's good, man? Hey, yo, you hear me? Uh, that was my police connection. He, he must not be talking. He answered the phone, though. That was weird. <laughs> so does he tell you whatever there's any action going down or anything? Yeah, yeah. Officer Spike is like our insider at the PD. He basically, anything we need, we just go to him. 
But uh, it's it's low key, so just don't tell anybody about it, cause yeah. we don't want to get him in trouble. Yeah. Oh, that's not the pirate <laughs> on the bike. Oh, it is. It's the pirate. Wonder what he's doing here. Maybe he got injured. He got a boo boo. Kind of suspicious. Got out thinking we were gonna uh, talk to him, and you drove no, off. I, I was just, parking here next to this sign. All oh, right. I wonder if that's his bike. All right. Uh, I need someone with the camera and someone with the mic. I'll go camera. All right. Oh, she's already got it on there. Fuck. I'm going camera. She's got the mic. <laughs> camera. What, what title? Um, title it, Breaking News, Person Goes to Pillbox. <laughs> <laughs> the, I put pirate. I put pirate goes to pillbox and I spell it wrong, so I'm just going to correct that. <laughs> God damn. Never right. mind that. Oh, I'll wait for him though to walk I'm out. I'm good. I'm good now. I spelled it right. I'm just an idiot. All right, nice. Sure seems to be taking his time in there. I'll pan over to you, so I'll look at the bike and then pan over. All right, that's good. That's good. Good cinematography. Here, how about how about we do some uh, deep dive investigation and go inside? Oh wait, never mind. There he is. Oh, uh, sir, sir, uh, sir, would you mind just going over here for a quick interview? Uh, no. Sir, why were you uh, at the pillbox? It's very suspicious. He's walking. Over. What the hell? Sir, we have to know why a pirate is at the the city's pillbox. Please, this is very important this is very news. Important news. Uh, I fell off my bike. You left your bike? I fell off my bike. Oh, you fell off your oh, bike. Yeah. Why'd you fall off your bike? Were you wearing a helmet? Um, I've got this hat. You got a hat? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you heard it right here. Wear your helmet while in the city. Otherwise, you could become injured. And that is not good at all. Uh, you can end it up like this man right here. Lots of pills. Lots of good pills. Um, sir, I don't think that's something you want to be saying to the public. That kind of brings a, a bad image to everybody. Nah, nah, nah. Good pills. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. Sky Olsen at the pillbox. We just found somebody who went here because they got injured and fell off their bike. This is breaking news. Um, we'll keep you updated with this story. Sky Olsen, Boomski, and we're out. Alright. All right, that was good. You know what does Boonski mean? <laughs> oh, Boonski, you have to say that at the end of um, breaking news reports. It it really gets their attention. All oh, right. Okay. Ooh, siren. Let's go chase after it. <laughs> sir, it's sir. Oh, Spike, what's going on, man? Hey. Oh, uh, what Molly. happened, sir? Sir, what happened? What happened? Uh, before, Molly, before I go out, will you marry? Oh. Oh, my. Oh. He didn't finish it. it was, what was uh, he going to say? He... Oh, my. I can't, I can't get him. 
arriba. I changed the title to Man's Last Words. <laughs> good job, good job. Jesus. Officer Spike, what happened? Guess we'll never know. What happened? Ah, uh, he fell off a roof. He fell off a roof. Lots of people falling off of things today. Uh, yeah. I'm struggling, is... hold on. Oh, no worries. Mm -hmm. Need a new angle. <laughs> this is person number two who has fell off of something today and has had to go to the hospital just for that injury. That's very crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, please wear your seatbelts. Make sure not to jump off of things. You could end up in the hospital and become very injured. Um, Officer Spike, what do you have to say about this? Please, the LSPD wants to make sure that civilians are enforcing the seatbelt law. Please wear your seatbelts. We got a lot of 911s about people flying out of cars. That's right, that's right. Uh, you heard it here from the police themselves. Wear your seatbelts and stay safe. And look, oh, the hospital does such a great job at, at making sure people come out in tip-top shape. What was you gonna say? <laughs> Do you remember what you was gonna say? No. I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. All I wanna say is fuck the pigs. Ah, okay, okay then. <laughs> well... There's somebody I'm not picking up. Very angry for a... Oh, it's the camera. Oh, uh, yeah, it's yes, the camera. We're coming. live right now. Oh, shit. That, I said that laugh. Why were you climbing oh, a building? Why'd you fall off a building? Um, just sounds like a good idea. There? I don't know. Maybe I was getting ready to propose to someone, but I don't know who. Oh. All right, you heard it here. This is Hi, Mom. Sky Olsen, breaking news of the pillbox. Boomski. And we're out. All right. Boomski. I like that, man. Boomski. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the catchphrase. Seems stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm listen, that local. Yo, Spike, I got I got some uh, business to speak with you. Oh, yeah, you called me and hanged up on me, man. I, I couldn't hear you for some reason. It was uh, uh... my phone or something. Alright, All right, so listen, we're trying to see if we can get a hold of some police scanners. You know if you could help us out with that? Police scanners? I have no clue if that's even in the city, to be honest with you. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. Um, we were just, you know, trying to get some ways to find what's going on easier, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, if, if I'm ever around and I do get, like, a, you know, pretty uh, hefty scoop, I'll make sure to give you or your assistant a call. Okay, um, this is my new employee. Her name is, uh, Molly Harper. Here, let me go in and get her. Alright. I think falling off that roof may have fucking hurt his head. Jesus. Um, uh, Molly, if you don't mind, uh, I, I need to... Go and introduce you to Officer Spike. It folds. Alright. <laughs> oh, Molly knows Officer Spike very well. Oh, yeah, she she knows me very well. Oh, I'm you guys. Happy to see, I'm happy to see this interaction go down. I'm happy to see that she's finally getting an actual, honest, hardworking job. <laughs> yeah, he fell off his bike. Alright, well, um, she's our newest, uh, you know, investigator slash news columnist. So, you know, she'll be around a lot. And, you know, if she ever needs connections, you mind if she just, um, Guess your contact info? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got it on All right, video. Molly. Uh, nah, here, I'll give you mine and then I'll get you. Right? I'll get yours, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yeah. It's 199 Wait, what was the last bit? I got to 77. Seven. Seven. One zero, zero. Nah, one zero zero, right? Yeah, so one hundred at the end. Uh huh. I got that. Do you want mine? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, you ready? Wait. Ready? One three seven. Three eight four. One four eight zero. All right. It's the best way. 
that's great. Then you're not wasting the time. Um, we are also looking to do a, a cops show. So, mm -hmm. I don't know, like, if, you know, you'd be interested in that. We would basically need two people to ride along with you. One with a camera and, um, you know, another person there. But uh, yep. they'll basically just be ride-alongs and, you know, record anything that's going on during your time as a police officer. So, I don't know if you're interested in that. Yeah. I already uh, talked to my uh, head of uh, public relations. He said that he would be happy to do that. But uh, we'll have to send that up to the <laughs> chain of command and see if high command would want it. Okay. Oh, okay. Sp speaking of, here he is. The uh, head of public relations. Hello. Hello, sir. He this just, is... he, he just for looks like he forgot how to use the radio and say that he's going 41. I did tell him I thought he won. Hello, no, sir. Uh, say anything. I don't know if we've met before. My name is Sky Olson. I'm oh, the CEO already, yeah. of Weasel News, and this is my investigative reporter, Molly Harper. Uh, oh, hello. We are looking to do a cop-style TV show. I don't know if that would be acceptable at all for the, the police department, but... Uh, um, obviously, um, I think as public relations, obviously we would allow it to play we deal with the public, so it would be interesting actually, to see what um, get some uh, footage of what the okay. public want to see. Um, but obviously that would have to go through high command to get high command approval. Alright, well it sounds like a lot of the police are on board, so if it gets approved then it sounds like we'll have some good footage and, you know, bring um, to bring awareness. Yeah, I would have to inform you though that the cadets and soda cadets will not be able to take on rider lungs um, due to them being trained in Okay, um, that, so that's understandable. You would have to wait for an officer to come on or someone in or have a role to take you. Oh, I already have an inner scoop. We could have you, uh, you know, ride along with an FTO. I see FTOs, a cadet, and you can see how our officers are formed. Oh, that, that sounds like an amazing idea. Yeah, like the whole training process and everything. Yep. Yeah, you can see us teach them how to do a 1011, get on a 1080, you know, go to store robbery, all that. Uh, what, what's a 10-4? A 10, uh, 10 um, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the suspect is really biking around over there. Uh, suspect? What did he do? Yeah, he had a knife. Well, he apparently assaulted someone. The uh, Weasel News guy caught him on camera. Wait, really? really? No. Hey. Sir, did you get? Did you find him assaulting somebody? Yeah, sir. Did you catch him? Catch him on camera? What did, what did he do? Pulled a knife. And what did he do with the knife? Well, he bought, started walking towards us and then drove away. He's fuck the police. Okay. Oh well, he said fuck the police. I'll right, we'll get him. All right, let's go chase after them, boys. This is breaking news. Oh man, I already lost him after two seconds. If you follow uh, Spike, he'll probably know where they went. We need to get Turbo in these vans. Okay, that was that was that was the car. Oh. Well. Yeah, these vans are pretty slow. <laughs> I have no idea where they want to. Hey, you know if you open the back of the van, the back doors, I can film out of it. Oh, you can? Hold on. Uh, yeah. I can um, film out the side as well. Hmm. I don't think I can, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not working correctly. I kind of just stand up in the back of the van and it clips through when... And...
Oh my. Oh, there's another. Oh. Uh, that was that. Nothing happened there. Oh. Look, it's an important one. It's got the big boy charger thing. Hello, sir. How you doing? Did you see any crime today? Uh, no, I can't say I have yet. I know that we just were in a pursuit with a uh, with an individual. An uh, individual? Well, that sounds like a fancy word. Then a legal suspect. A suspect, allegedly. Well, allegedly, I mean, we haven't caught him. The only thing, only description we have of him is that he's in a pirate outfit. Oh, that guy. We see him a lot today. He's called Steve Lees. His name's Steve Lees? <sighs> yeah. 102 to dispatch. Let's make sure we have an eye out for Steve Lees. Let's get confirmation that was the individual in the bike. In the pirate outfit. It's a nice car you got. How fast does this thing go up to? Uh, it's pretty fast. You think our news van yeah. could beat it? Negative. <laughs> yeah, our, our van's pretty slow. Can we go on a ride along? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Hello? Hey, can I not hop in one of these guys' cars? While you search for the pirate. What you uh, you want like live PD this? Yeah, yeah like, we've been trying to set up a show. I, I mean, got a camera too, man. Just be advised that Steve Lee. I'll get in with with that guy that's on the radio right now. I'll get in with Avery, you. since you're here and you're high command, uh, um, uh, Sky Olsen has something he wants to talk to you about. I think he's talking yes, to me now about the ride along, correct? Hello? Yes, sir. Hey, we've been confirmed to do a ride along. We're doing a live PD thing. <laughs> what? What? Why no, you're you you're riding with me if we're riding anywhere. Wait, what about this? I like this guy. Why are you There's bloody? There's three of us and three cops, surely. I'm, I'm it's a horrible wrong. idea because <laughs> we we don't go to the calls that get shot. Yeah. If you're all in there, then no one can give it to a call. I'm, uh, I'm so we're, I'm taking the less priority calls. Hey, it's SWAT man, it's got a SWAT written on his back. I am yeah, a SWAT leader. This is this is the slacker of the uh, PD. So I can hang the yeah. camera out of the car. And everything. All right, I will take. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you guys on a ride along. All right, let's Stop go. Around. No. All right, 102 is going to be doing a ride along with Weasel News. So I'll be taking the less priority calls, and if there's any pursuits, I'll be, uh, I'll be third in the pursuit. All right, not being said, you guys can have to go. Uh, we got to go get you some type of vest or something on just in case. All right, that sounds good. Sky, you remember when you first started and you, uh, oh, you, had, I, you had that special vest with uh, Patty? I remember like it was yesterday. Yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, try to get everyone a little bit of a vest that has some type of bright coloring on it. I don't want a bright color. Oh man, I have no cash on me. I'll give you twenty. Building sorted. We should get the most awesome vests. What about a Barbie girl on this one? Okay. <laughs> That good enough? <laughs> Let's take that silence as a no. <laughs> yeah, it was like. What about that? I'm a police officer. It was like a vest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that'll have to do, Chief. Is this alright? Yes. This is number twenty-four. Has police, but I don't think there's any other option. That's number twenty-four. Hold on. Oh, I've got this one. <clears throat> What about this one? Uh, I think the four, this one. Yeah, that one, that one looks good there. Oh, that one. Yeah, just it's a break. This one's just plain. Oh, this yeah, this one's plain. If you go texture four. Traffic officer. Oh, okay. I'll give you another twenty. Oh, media. There's a media one. What's that one? Oh, okay. Number nine. Yeah, number nine. 
Oh, nice. That's sick. Mm -hmm. Damn, look at you guys. Hey, do you remember me from earlier? Yeah. Hey, you want you want a new story? She used to be my sugar mama. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, friend, I think it's a... putting some boots on. Shit's about to get real. It's a work vehicle. All right, one or two plus four. It's back to me. Plus three. So I can film out of the front of this car as if it's a dash cam, it's great. Okay, so if you if you think about menu and then uh, go right to the bottom and hit cinematic cinematic mode it brings little bars and gets rid of your so if you want to do that instead it's up to you that's kind of cool I mean, I could always add that in post. I don't know if you guys have ever, ever been in here before, but I was in here once. And it was, uh, I, I will admit, back in the day, I did crime once. You know, I think everybody go, goes through that phase. Um, I was involved with a high-speed chase, you know. Allegedly... I may or may not have been involved with the sinking of a police vehicle, <laughs> but that is still alleged and not confirmed, and I may not have even done it, um, even though there's a picture of me right next to a sinking cop car in the ocean. But, um, you know, I think all of us grow from time to time, and, you know, I'm no longer of the, the criminal life, I will say. I'm just I, not going to comment on the criminal I, I think <laughs> that I think that everyone has a past and we can all forget about it and move on with our lives. Allegedly got arrested today. Allegedly. Allegedly got arrested. Alleged and breaking news. Yeah. Allegedly tried to rip an ATM over a wall. And allegedly what is it? didn't Boomski. Break. Boomski. Boomski, that's right. Allegedly breaking news, Boomski. You're already picking up on the buzzwords. You guys are, are perfect for the job. I knew I was I was right in hiring you both. So what words aren't we allowed to use? You can't <laughs> you can't use convicted. Never. Even if they are, it's just it's not good because we don't like liability. Fair enough. Hey, while we're in the car, I'm gonna sort something out. Okay. So we can get some background. Uh you know, like news music. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get in the car and just kind of disappear into my head. Alright, I guess I'm gonna stand here and do it. <laughs> do you have like a, a template for the magazine and then the newspaper thing? Um, I'm working on making one right now, but uh, it'll be done soon. Okay, that sounds good. I'll try and add some some stories to my uh, magazine what I do every week as well. I was gonna start doing that anyway, so sounds good. Be pretty good instead of just advertisements all the time. Yeah, I think uh, I got one of. Is this your issue, the uh, Weasel News Magazine Three? Mhm. Mm yep. I have one, two, and three all back at my apartment. If you want to see them. Oh, absolutely. And then if you go down to Tuna Shop. And you go near their front desk, 
I did the catalog for them there as well. Oh wow, do you do a lot of like graphic uh design? Mm -hmm. This is uh really good actually. Mm -hmm. I enjoy, enjoy doing it. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm on the uh the Uwu Cafe page. This is this is amazing. It, it really does the place justice. <laughs> I used to work there. It was like my life passion, but then you know the government stepped in and said, "No, you gotta, you gotta do something else." I mean, they were like forceful. They're like, "Hey, man, you probably should." And then I talked to my boss. My boss was like, "Yeah, you, it sounds like a good opportunity." <laughs> the Vinicates, is this a gang? Mm-hmm. Was a gang. Oh, so allegedly, the, allegedly I was the leader. Of the gang. <laughs> oh, okay. Allegedly. Oh, wow. Um, that's, that's a final goodbye, that one there. Right there. That, that, yeah. The Medicates don't exist anymore, allegedly. Allegedly, okay. <laughs> allegedly, hey, they I... never existed in the first place. <laughs> oh, sorry about that all. <clears throat> hey. Alright, we're good now. Front seat. <laughs> Too bad. God damn it. <laughs> He's just something just a coincidence he has. <laughs> How long you been on the force, Mr. Officer? Uh, so technically, uh, ma'am, I've been here since, uh, day one. I just came off for the show. Uh, back in District one. 1. Yes, ma'am. I, uh, actually used to be the chief a long time ago. Back. So you know what you're doing then? I I do. Okay. I'm pretty good at what I do. Can't say I'm the best, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously today we will be uh, doing some my loan stuff. Um, a lot of the high priority calls, depending, we may go to, may not go to. Uh, just the sense for your guys' safety and everything. All right. Sounds reasonable. So obviously, uh, and that also being said, if for, oh, sorry, someone ready. If for him is good and put a uh, warrant out then for him, just for your question, I guess for right now. Uh, so that being said. Uh, there is now a warrant out for a gentleman because he shot. There was a shots fired at Alta, and the truck just flew back. Be attempting a 1011 on a garbage truck currently going northbound power or Elgin. It's gonna be making a left now, going West San Andreas. Does it seem to be pulling it over at this time? Makes now going a right, going north power. I think we're gonna have to bump this up to a 1080 actually at this time. Sir, stop the vehicle for me. Yeah, can do. Alright, he's not pulling over. Alright, if you guys just want to stay in here just in case. Alright. Actually, you guys can go ahead and come out. You can't. Cameraman, everyone, let's come out. Alright, sir, are you okay with being recorded? Alright, the reason I'm asking is because I have Weasel News here with me today. Alright, they're just kind of following me around doing a ride along, alright? But they can blow your face out if, if need be. Alright, my name is, uh,. Jay Avery with the LSPD. No, I pulled you over today. Uh, no idea. I may have run a red light accidentally. Yeah, you ran a red light and yeah, just kind of kept going. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize you were following me at first. No, nah, that's fair enough. All right, can I uh, can I get your license registration proof insurance? Uh, yeah. Uh, Oh, okay. No, I didn't mean to get out of that. No, no, you're good. Just wanna.
Sir, uh, are you a... Uh, sir, are you a garbage person? Is that your job? Is that your job? That's a bit insulting, that. <laughs> Sanitation <laughs> worker is what most people would Sanitation. call him, Sky, but it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sanitation worker, do you enjoy your work? Uh, I do. It's a very sir, dirty sir, job. Sir, why, didn't, why didn't you pull over the vehicle when he uh, put on his sirens? Uh, to be fair, I thought it was just... Sir, is this a sign that you do not like the police and you think sanitation workers should not associate with the cops? No, no, I just thought I was getting... Sir, a, why why do you not wear a shirt during during your work? Is that, isn't that unsanitary? Uh, Sir, no, can I also have your ID while you're being questioned? <laughs> uh, yeah, um... Okay. How? Do you have an ID on you? Uh, yes. Alright, just like, just thing. think it, just, think you know, just yeah. kind of like... You know... Use it. Just kind of show me it. You know? Uh -huh. And right. think about think about grabbing your ID two hey. times. Alright, so this is, uh, so your name's Steve Lees, right? It is, yeah. Alright, perfect. Alright, you want to get back in the Google form real fast then? Just go run, run the name and everything. <laughs> so you want to get back in the Google form for right now? Uh, back in my vehicle, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. We'll be right back with you. All right. Yeah, no worries. You guys want to come back here? Do some news, guys. Hey, friend. Let's get a. Uh, let's get a dish joint down here. We have the guy. With All right. Just in case. Sorry, wrong seat. Wrong seat. <laughs> just in case uh, you guys might want to get back. We're probably going to do a code five on this. This man has a warrant now for his arrest. Oh I'm wow! Stand across the street and get a view of that. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get a shot. All right, all right. I'm gonna record a little segment for the news. Ready? All right, we are live. All right, LSPD. Uh, there is apparently a man. He is pulled over in a sanitation vehicle, and he has a warrant out for his arrest. Police are on the scene now, and they are trying to arrest the alleged suspect. More news will be out soon, and we'll update you as soon as possible. All right, let's Sky go, News let's and Booski. Hey, take it off, Sky. And hurry up. <laughs> Active 1080. Hey. Active 1080. <laughs> Gotta love the sound effects. <laughs> Alright, 102 would take over comms. Uh, we're gonna be continuing East Mount San Andreas Ave. They're making a left going northbound center street. Gotcha, he's going through the bottom area. Now going northbound, I'm gonna work and try to cut him off. Is he going through? Okay, he went on the train tracks. Abraham is going to the canals. Is he continuing south? All right, are you guys ready? Gonna do some wicked stuff to get down there. Let's do this. Oh, oh God, my back. Oh. Hey, Vrim. Hey, Spike. I'm gonna hit you. Are you flipping it yourself? Do what I want. Yep. Hey, Vrim. Yeah, hey, Vrim. I got eyes. Oh, careful! What's going through your vehicle? Sir, why don't you just shoot the tires? Because we don't want to shoot. There's no reason for us to have to shoot. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, because you, you shoot tires, and people take it as a up in priority, and we don't want this guy to shoot anyone, anything like that. Uh, a from you. Yeah, if he does a hard pit, not yeah, we're gonna shoot tires then. Let's try try boxing him in. I'm 
gonna try to get my yeah, car right up underneath there. He, he got out, he got out. 1070? Hey, 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 hey! Hey, so you'll be tased, stop running. Let's go underneath. We're gonna stick the canine on you. Oh, you're gonna stick the canine. Got a weapon. I can't have his on him. Oh god, shots have been fired. Shots fired. Man, you All right, let's let's get this on the news. Injured my dog, man. Breaking news: I'm Police have just shot and murdered an unarmed male. He was in here just running away from them. The police chased him after a high-speed chase. Was kicking the canine. Man, he beat him with the, the suspect. Crowbar, looks man. like he has about six to seven alleged gunshots. The a frame, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated. Skylson Boomski. I got a whole good view of that thing. Good, good. <laughs> On that? <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Tell your man that he has to be in my vehicle. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo, in this vehicle. <laughs> Wrong vehicle. Hey, yo, we have to we have to be in this one. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, uh, you said you're 76 right now to Hold on, Alright, hey, fam. Base is over. Do you mind uh, attaching to that um, the pillbox as well? In case he needs any additionals. Uh. Huh. But, uh. Yeah. Go, A friend. So, yeah. Yeah, that was that happened. Does that usually happen when you do chases? People pull out weapons and try to hit the canine. Yeah, it usually happens a lot. But I didn't see a weapon on him. He had a crowbar. So the police combat crowbars with uh, pistols. That's acceptable. No, the, no. The reason why he was shot was because he took out the canine. Okay. Canine's, canine's considered an LEO. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like, it's like him attempting, like, well, he definitely murdered the canine. So that being said, like, he will be arrested for attempted murder of Anelia. It sounds Pretty like it carries serious canine. time. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very upsetting. We just, you know, lost another canine, which happens more often than you would think. 102 is going to be back tonight. By the way, uh, it's over. I have uh, Weasel News with me. So, um, any priority ones with shootings or anything, I'll be stationed off of it, unless, uh, it activates up to into one. Thanks. 
I think there's someone trying to steal the guy, to be honest with you guys. So we'll see what's going on. Ooh. Trying to keep you updated from like what I hear on the radio, because obviously you guys can hear radio. Why is Alice here? True. Okay, guys. Good, good work. <laughs> we pull up and everyone leaves. Wait, I need, I need camera phone suit. Worst part about it is that now we probably won't have many calls, but it's fine. It's a good time to ask questions or anything, regardless. Um, was that legal what that car just did? Uh, generally it was a green light, and, oh, okay. they, and they went to the right lane. I'm sorry, they went to the left lane. I apologize. Uh, where do you see the most crime coming from? Usually, sanitation workers. Is that typical? No, negative, sir. No, it's definitely more of a. Hmm. Let me think. I don't know. It's usually at store robberies. We, the one that gets robbed the most, I would say, is probably the one to our left in Sis Boulevard. There's a lot of robberies. Do you think that the the city should do something about the amount of robberies going on? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the city. Uh, I mean, how are you going to stop people from robbing gas stations? You know, there's already you cameras in there. You can take away the gas stations. <laughs> I think it's... I don't know. I mean, no one, until more businesses open up with food, then we'll never eat. Yeah, but people... Right now, I survive with breakfast sandwiches. Imagine if everybody just walked everywhere. Then, basically, there would be no way to get away with crime. You 100% would. That would just <laughs> lead up to more people shooting. It would actually up crime, I would think, not having vehicles. Uh, that is a good point. Have you ever seen uh, criminals with high-tech weapons, or is it usually just like um, crowbars? Uh, no, so we definitely see more people with... Now, I would say we mostly get, uh, like... Mostly it's just like a pistol that they get ammunition. They might have just stole it from someone else. Or uh, the, the, the highest-tech answer, to answer your question, is probably a... Uh, what is it? Um, a Tech-9. Which is an automatic weapon. Have you ever seen one on the scene of a crime? Oh yes, I've been shot at multiple times from tech guns. That sounds crazy. It's it's insane. I mean, imagine you know you got a gun that goes pew pew, and they have a gun that goes pew 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 pew. pew. No, it's kind of scary. Anyone got any food? See, there uh, it is. I I'm, let me check. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I got I got a sandwich. Oh, we got a store robbery. 102 is going to be 76 to that recent store robbery. Why would you give me food while I'm driving? <laughs> I was trying to give it to Molly. <laughs> I was trying to give it to Molly. Put it in the glove box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never dreamed this would be the kid. Alright, we got a Corvette driving away from the scene. Uh, license plate 27 Juliet Yankee Indigo 988. If I'm right, so you would just station off at the then? Alright, I'll code 6 the area then, while we're waiting for that car to come back. So code 6 just means that like we're investigating the area. So like, you're just looking for the, the suspect? Yes, copy that. So pretty much what I was just told in radio was that the same car, the license plate, uh... Was it a blue and color car? Hey, from I got eyes. He's on Clinton Ave in a parking lot. I mean, seriously, sometimes my job's just this easy, guys. I don't think anyone's in it. <laughs> yeah, be advised. I got eyes on the vehicle. I don't have eyes on the suspect, though. <laughs> so this might be on foot over there, maybe. Can I get a additional to the 20? Uh, 
Hey, if you can code six the store if you don't mind. Like I said, I got the uh, the vehicle back here. Which I may just park up and watch, to be honest. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's enough from you. <laughs> can you code six the store for me? Can I have that sandwich? Oh, yeah, please. Thanks. About to stop the death. one The one that just <laughs> costed me the front end of my car. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, not to be a sandwich. problem. Not to be a problem, but can I have a sandwich? <laughs> Bruh. No, I had them both. You bitch. Whoops. It's not very friendly, is it? Sorry, I apologize. Can I have a sandwich, please? I don't have any. Does anyone? <laughs> can we go to the store that was just robbed so I can buy a sandwich, That's... please? Here, here's some nachos in the little bus. Oh, nice. Hey, friend. I'm in a parking lot right now, so if you want to just kind of, like, get lights and sirens away from the scene. I'll copy that. Yeah, get fingerprints. Can we, uh, can someone go and get it? Car's pulling away. Car's pulling away. It's currently going westbound Clinton Ave. What just happened? What? God, bro. I don't know how any of that just happened, but I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> hey, Frank, you still got eyes? Pass. All right, one on two. We take pro uh, secondary in this pursuit. He's going through another alleyway. He's going towards Auto Street. Go ahead and pass me. Then be continuing eastbound, Clinton. Yeah, A frame. I still got eyes. Continuing eastbound, Clinton. Lost eyes at this time. Might be in one of these parking lots. Let me go check the alleyway. Hey, for me, I got no eyes on the vehicle. The last team was going eastbound Clinton Ave. He may have just ramped off and went straight off into the freeway as well, to be honest with you. Yeah, a frame. see if you got any anything like that. I'm going to be uh, 76 to go get repairs at Benny's. Oh, now you come. on that? You said he does have a weapons license or no? Hey, friend, why would he not be getting a weapons license? Hey, friend, fair enough. 
So, you know, a lot of people ask what the hardest part about my job is. You want to be honest with you? Yes. It's the locals. The locals cost me my job. It was every day. Really? What, what's like an example of something they do? They decide to, oh, they see the flashing lights. Let's just get in front of the vehicle. Let's just... They, uh... So, you know, they try to pull over, but if I'm on, like, the right side of the vehicle, and they're not turning fast enough, I'll switch to the left side, but then they'll try turning left so they're out of my way. Sounds like a big so, problem. Eh, it's a problem. It's the one you, you end up dealing with. But that's why, you know... That's why sometimes you just kind of take the, uh... I don't know, sometimes it's just what you have to deal with, you know? It's part of the job at this point. So, that's what we do. One of the two is also going to get a refill of gas as well. Do you guys get any questions for anything? That you want to ask? Uh, while you're... Not at this time. Okay, fair. You do have everyone in the back seat still, right? Uh, yes, I believe okay. so. They're just very quiet. So yeah, yeah. Like, okay, huh? there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All he does is play his little tune. The nine of the of what? Yeah, if I'm, I'll uh, I'll get one posted and everything once we get done this ride along a little bit. Car actually turned off. Car's turned off for you guys, right? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, so there's, a, there's a biker guy over there. Doing the gas stuff. I didn't know he's a biker guy, isn't he? He's wearing a truck. biker vest. Guys, he's wearing the lost biker vest. Oh. Gang. Gang, gang. Skirt. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Just called you that guy who had a warrant out for him. Excuse me, you calling me Steve Lee's? No. Fair enough. <laughs> 102 plus 3 is back 10 8. You should give me one of your police radios, that'd be fun. Yeah, I don't think you're able to. If I'm, did we ever did we ever look up the uh the license plate of that Corvette yet? Yeah. Uh, I got a purple and colored Audi just going through some red lights. Uh currently gonna be a ten eleven with them, I believe, at the VU. Yeah, um I'll uh Okay then. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> Alright, you guys are more welcome to get out as well. Hello, sir, you mind rolling down your window for me? There we are. Uh, hi, uh, first off, I got Weasel News joining with me today. Is it okay if they record you as well as blur out your face regardless? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, perfect. Uh, my name is Jay Avery with the LSB. You know why I pulled you over today? Uh, for my U-turn and then pulling, uh, driving like I did. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So can I just get yeah. license registration for insurance? Uh, yeah, I got my license. Alright, perfect. There you are. All right, Mr. Olson, I appreciate that. I'll be right back with you, okay? All right. Uh, sir, if you don't mind me asking, uh, why were you running those red lights back there? I was turning around to pull in here because I had someone yelling in my ear. Oh, okay. So you think he should just give you a warning this time? I mean, it was more of uh, me getting off the road instead of, you know, having someone yell in my ear as I'm driving down the road, you know? Yeah, yeah, I feel you. So, uh, so we kind of have an issue here, Mr. Olson. Do you have a license plate on your car? I just can't see. Uh, I mean, there's supposed to be one at the back. I don't know if you can see. I can see it. Oh, you can see it? Okay. 
Yeah, I can't see it, but I'll take your word for it then. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna make sure you don't have any words or anything. Yep. One or two dispatch. Can I get a 1027-1028 on a Sigvard Olsen? Proper spelling. Alright, Mr. Olson, uh, you have no, you have no warrants or anything else. I'm just gonna be giving you a warrant today. Just watch your speed and everything for me, right, sir? Yep. All right. All right, you're good to take off, man. Have a good day, sir. All right. See ya. That 1011 is code for. Code four, time four. Code four, time four. That's what I like to hear. Hey man, you know. Yeah, I had to turn around. So has it been a slow day for you, Mr. Avery? Avery. Sorry. I think with the many times as I've I've arrested you, you would know my name by now. Allegedly arrested. No, me. not allegedly. Allegedly. You, <laughs> allegedly. It, it's allegedly. You, you have no. Oh, there's reports of your. You have no. a criminal history. Alleged history. reports. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> No, you pleaded guilty to all of them. It's not allegedly if you pleaded guilty. Allegedly, allegedly. pleaded guilty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that, that, there it is. <laughs> so has um, it been a slow day? Busy day? Um, so it has been a little bit. We had a ATM robbery earlier, which you would probably know about. <laughs> allegedly? No, not allegedly. You were there. You did it. I was um, watching, right? Watching that raccoon. No, it was you. The but, reason why I know it was you is because not only did the raccoon master magically appear off of you, but then you then said, yeah, I tore it off with my teeth. And then <laughs> that you were wearing a raccoon mask. So. <laughs> why you gotta do me dirty like that? <laughs> so it's speculative then. It's not speculative now. It's here. Sorry, sorry, what was that? It's lies. Yeah, objection revel relevance. <laughs> objection hearsay. Hearsay, yeah. Uh, did we ever figure out anything else with the individuals up north at the um, gas station? At the convenience store, I mean. That's good. No one really is, and perfect. That's what I like to hear. So, officer, I've, I have a question for you. Yeah, of course, go for it. So, if somebody did something like libel or slander, would you like chase them down and like shoot them, or is that like not that serious? What do you What do you mean by that? So, if there's like slander, like slanderous statements, like are you allowed to shoot people over that? No, I mean to be fair, there's not even a there's not even a charge against them. We just kind of take the hit. You know, people can say what they want about us, you know. So, we definitely don't go chase them down, and definitely we don't shoot them unless shot upon. Or okay. they attempt to murder on someone. So, like, you know, if someone called me, I get called an asshole a lot. A from me, an additional. A from 102 plus 3 will be 76, that 10 11. Um, but no, we don't, like, anything slander, like, Obviously, everyone has the First Amendment, right? So they have the freedom of speech. They can say whatever they like. True. So we don't uh, we don't do anything with that. But like making a bomb threat, that's that's free speech too, right? No. <laughs> uh, it's 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 uh, that, depending on if there actually is one. That's uh, I mean, if they make a bomb threat, it's definitely a charge. It's like this. Uh, I want to say it's the servants of peace is like the least that we can get them with. But obviously, if we really wanted to, we could take them to court and get them on acts of terrorism and stuff like that. Oh, that's like a really bad charge. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a hefty fine. Are you a Ocean King? Where's your 1011 at? Hey, friend. Is it across from the casino?
Oh, A-frame, I got ice. 102 plus 3 is 23. Attach the 1011 call. Now your vehicle? What is it, a front? No worries, Hannah. Betty's? Yeah, Betty's what? I'm Betty, my sugar, my, my sugar. She gives me the sugar. Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, mister, you said your name was... What, what did your name say your name was? I've been Al Shabab. I've been Al Shabab. Alright, could I have you step out of the vehicle and come over to my cruisers for the time being? Pulled over, they just tell us to pay the money and they screw off, eh? Yeah, that's uh, usually how it goes, but I need you to, you know, step out the car and come over to my. Yeah. Well, this time is different, sir. This time is different. What is yeah. different about this time? Well, I don't feel comfortable having you in the vehicle. Wow. And for your that... safety as well as mine, I would like, uh, for, you know, for Let's you to step out and to come over to, uh, you know, my cruiser. Yeah. And... Ladies and gentlemen, this is about to get spicy. Officers just pulled over a suspect for unknown crimes, and it is. It seems like this could be turning to a dangerous no, situation fast. Sky car, Olson, but, Boomski, stay uh, tuned. You know, if you could uh, please just come over here to my vehicle, alright? Yeah, we're probably gonna have a potential 1080. Alright, let's go back to the car. Alright, come on, sir. Just step out of the car and come over here with me, alright? We gotta record from a distance. He said it might be dangerous. Well, he might take off, so you guys might want to hop in the car. <laughs> okay, we'll have a uh, one camera in the the front seat. That be taking off. He's taking off. It's going northbound. Left your canine. Good call, officer. Oh. I mean, it's going off road. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not going up there. <laughs> Gotta love it. If you're going to continue. What's going on? Hey, if you're that same Corvette. Switch cars. Uh, a from 102 is going to take primary. He's currently going to get known with the freeway. Southbound. Continuing southbound, heading on to Strawberry. There's the plate as well. Continuing southbound strawberry. I feel like I need a harness. I believe I've lost eyes. He might have turned somewhere. But let's get let's get that worn out on that plate though. He went straight ahead. Did he keep going straight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a broken tail light. Watch for that. And he went right, I think. Hey, friend. Yeah, this is over. You mind looking up a plate on that car real fast? If you need me, I can read it out to you. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it down in the code too. Is that a Marshall Penguin? Hey, from let's go ahead and get a uh, a warrant on him. All right, well, that's where people were kind of crazy about it because we can obviously get plates and everything. Now we actually have a name to the people the person in the car. Do uh, a lot of people start driving away during traffic stops? Yeah. I mean, now to be fair, that like so that if they know it's gonna be a ticket, maybe not. Some of them, some of them, they'll run a red light and they'll just take off, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, usually it's uh, um, 
usually if they're gonna get arrested, they'll take both. The guy, obviously, that gentleman, that car didn't own, wasn't owned to him. So. So that would have, like taken him to jail. Yeah, he would have been arrested for grand theft auto. Man, I'm a beast. You saw how I waited him out. I knew uh, it, I knew it was him. I waited him out the store. He came. I followed him. He ran a red light, and I caught his bitch ass, man. Damn. <laughs> All right, well, good news is at least we'll put a warrant out for Marshall Penguin. Yeah. And we'll get that all situated. And... Mm hmm. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question fastly, yeah, it, it happens more often. Right? But to be fair, we, we're, we kind of want a streak where we haven't been shot at for a little while, so that's kind of a plus. We take that kind of pride and joy. It's kind of nice not to get shot at. I can imagine. There's probably lots of criminals that, uh, you know, would with, with guns and whatnot. I, it's probably scary being a cop. It definitely is, but, you know, in the sense, like, you know, this is what our job is. You know, we sign up for this. Do you ever get scared? Uh... No, because honestly, you know, I'm ready to die. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> um. You know, this is this is my this is this is all I have in my life. You know, I was in, I was ex-military. You know, I've done everything I want. And I I have money. You know, if, the, if this if this job kills me, so be it. You know, I, I'm here to protect and serve the city and protect and serve you know my brothers in arms. You know, that are on the force side to side with me. So. So. You know, would you say you're fearless? To death. I'm gonna say I'm fearless. I don't want to die, you know. But I'm ready to die, you know. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, what? <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> was... Hey, friend. Did it not sound like the same? <laughs> hey, could you drop me a, a altar? I'm gonna put all some of these clips together. Yeah, of course. That's what you want. I'll send you some of mine too. Stick down in there. I don't know. Oh shit! I need. Water. Oh, we got story robbery. We got story robbery. I'll, 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 oh, let's go. Yeah. This will be good news. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just shoot yourself out. One or two, one or two plus two. Same traffic. You mind if I scooch to the front seat? Yeah, go for it. Oh, there's a hostage situation here, boys. Oh Maybe. man. Hey, firm. 102 and, and Spiker uh, 23. It's a uh, two door. Alright, I'll take primary on this. Uh, J. Avery with the LSPD. What's going on in here, gentlemen? So, uh, we got a hostage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the live scene of a hostage situation. There seems to be a fox that is. Oh. Okay, okay. Alright, what can I get for the uh, the hostage safe? No, we would like, uh, All right. you know, basic bitch package. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the scene of a hostage situation. It seems there is a person wearing a mask, a fox mask, and he seems to be holding somebody hostage. We just got here at the scene. We're doing a ride along with Officer Avery today, and we are here to see what is going to happen. He's asking for the basic big patches package, the free passage and spike strips. We can confirm it. So I will, I will take over hostage, right? What is that car doing? So it looks like the, they are allowed. To, they are about to let him leave with free passage. We will stay on the scene to bring you the best news, and we will give you the undercover scoop. I'm gonna take hostage, Boomski. Right? They're they're gonna be ready to go. So all right, make sure so. just get any scenes to happen. Right. And any suspicious activity. All right, real fast. Let me get you guys over here just so everybody gets this wall while I get the hostage. Right. Just stay behind me. Primary. I mean, if I'm good, I'll look there. Am I good here? All right, you guys are good to go, hostage. You just come over to more than me, all right? All right, hostage coming up. 
All right, it's gonna be active 1080. All right. Sir, are you all right? Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, what was the are you Viking need medical hostage? attention? Huh? You need medical attention? Uh, no, I'm fine. All right. All right. All right. You're uh, you're all clear then. You got nothing on right. you. Yep. You guys got any questions for him before we add the one to this pursuit? Yes, sir. Do you mind if we do a quick interview with you? Sure. All right. Uh, let, let's get a shot over here. All right, sir. So, uh, hold on one second. All right. So, what happened today? You were a hostage. Yeah, I mean, after you guys were in the car that I literally just got pulled over in, uh, they showed up at VU and picked me up. And they picked you up, and then what, what did they tell you? Uh, they told me to get in the car or I'd get my head, head blown off. And were you scared? I mean, not really, but, you know, don't want to so, die. Okay, okay, that's understandable. Um, what was their motive? Did you hear anything? Uh, money. Money. money gets people doing things. Okay, okay, money. Did they get a lot of money, did it seem like? Uh, from ex my experience, uh, no. And do you think that uh, they should be brought to justice? I mean, if they get caught, sure. But if they don't get caught, then I think it's fine. Okay, that sounds like a reasonable take. They, right, you uh, what's your name? To attach to this. What, what'd you say? What's your name? Uh, Sigvard Olsen. Alright, thank you, Mr. Olsen. Uh, this is... Sky Olsen with Mr. Olsen. Boomski. Alright, we're good. Alright, perfect. Yeah. Alright. 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 I actually I like it to be honest with you. I like it though, a lot. You know, if we could just get you saying that, that would honestly make my day. What is what is it again? It it's Boomski. Boomski? Yeah. Got you. Oh here we get. Yeah, if we catch these guys, you gotta say Boomski. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. Okay. So usually when there's like another person in this pursuit, what we try to do, like the fourth person in the pursuit tries to block them off. So obviously I could go and get into a big line of cops. What's the point of that, right? So if I can block them off, send them on a different street or whatever, maybe if they're trying to get to a certain part, then we know that. Is it ever dangerous to box somebody in? Yes. People have died doing it? 100%. Alright, sir, hands up and out of Five is gonna stay with the Stevens. All right, ma'am. You're gonna get one warning. Get out of the car now. All right, I'm gonna be tasing you. All right. I can't. Hang on. Oh, there we go. I'm good, I'm good. Hands I'm up, good. right? Turn around. Face the other way. Alright, I'm gonna put you in cuffs, right? Gotcha. Four, five, 195. Holy shit. Uh, let's get a, a quick award with uh, Officer Spike. Mm -hmm. 
Holy bro. Oh, three oh ATMs. Gosh, you're strong, dude. What? <laughs> uh, you know, over here. Uh, sir, you mind if I just have a quick word? Uh, what happened today? What, what was the, uh, yeah. what was the so, thing that happened? Basically, today we had a store robbery and some criminals thinking that they could run away from the best driver in LSPD, uh, Officer Spike. And basically, they couldn't get away from me. They uh, came into this alleyway and uh, Officer Spike went for a box. Uh, he was also followed by Officer Stevens, who, who proceeded to uh, follow in the box. We got him. And then we have 195, we have one of them take off and get in another car, and we have another active 1080 at the time. Sounds like a successful day for the police department. Now, what what, what do you think they're going to be charged with? Oh, these guys are going to be getting charged with a lot, especially after finding what we found in that trunk. What? You, are you allowed to say what was in there? In this trunk, uh, well, I'm pretty sure the cameras were able to see, <laughs> but I pulled out a ATM out of that car. An entire Anna. ATM machine in the back An of their vehicle. An entire ATM machine in the back of this vehicle. Can you believe it? How much money could have been in there? Probably millions, right? Who knows? All right. No, I wouldn't go that far, but a couple thousands indeed. All right, thank you for your time, Officer Spike. We have to head on out of here, but thank you. All right, no problem. Boomski. All right, Spike, so you want me to clear scene or you got it? Um, I'm just gonna clear the car. I cleared the car already. I had three Boosie? ATMs inside of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can we have? Wanna have me say Boosie? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Just, just for Officer uh, Spike. just for like the cameras. Um, All right. Boomski. Oh, All that right. was perfect. Officer. Hello. Yes. That was can perfect. I, I got that. Amazing. Oh, oh, bruh. How you rob a store and you don't rob a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I was yeah, putting you out of cars, right? Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. What kind of sandwich is it? Do you mind this if I film you eat? Bacon sandwich? Uh, any reason for why it's a bacon sandwich? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. But you just kind of maybe, you know, preferred uh, bacon over uh, ham and cheese or something. Yeah, I mean, I do as well, honestly. I mean, but isn't Hello? bacon just ham? Ow. Ow. Uh. Mr. Sky, are you okay? Yeah, sorry about that. I just, I, I'm just trying to... Would you, uh, would you like to ask the uh, individual over here some questions? Yes, yes, that'd be great. All right. Before that, uh, to the individual over here, uh, have you know that you have the right to remain silent? Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot provide, if you cannot afford one, we put it to you by the states. Do you understand your rights? Uh, could you repeat it just in case? Yes. You have the you right have to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, we will provide it to you by the states. You Do you understand your rights? Yes, thank you. Also, All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, do you mind uh, the uh, waste of news yeah, asking you a couple of questions? Uh, can I talk to an officer first? Uh, sure. Any officer, honestly. All right, Avery. She hey, wants to talk to you. Thank you. I just want to give you something. Like, give me may something. I? Yes, uh, ma'am. Yeah. Thank of you. Of course. This was given to me, so I want to give it to you. There we go. A gun and knife, gun and knife. No, I'm just... well, I'm okay, is this you. your is, is this your registered what? weapon? No, it was given to me. Do you have a weapons license? I do not know. Okay, I'm giving this to you then. <laughs> for evidence. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know what kind of uh, you know. I don't know how she's trying to slide out of this one, but okay, I'm gonna put you in cuffs again, alright? Thank you. All right, no problem. Drink, but I'll be fine. Right. I'm gonna. What's your uh? What's your <sighs> name? Uh, what's your name, ma'am? I've just been asked to say that I'm Rebecca. Okay, is that your actual name, or you were just asked to be called Rebecca? Uh, a bit of both. Okay, what's your actual name? What's your birth name? Rebecca. Is Rebecca? Do you have any type of identification? I do not. Okay. Oh, that car was owned by a Benjamin Clark. Are you a Benjamin yeah. Clark? Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the no. prime, Griffey. You're Appreciate Rebecca? That. Yes. 
Okay, what's your last name, Rebecca? He didn't what's your... tell me what to say. What's your partner, Benjamin Clark? I don't know. What was your partner's name? I don't know. He didn't tell me. So you mind telling us how you met this guy? He just kind of pulled me in. He's like, hey, I need someone to pull this gun, this, you know, this knife and this gun to someone. And I said, okay, do I get a choice? And he said, no. So I'm like, okay, because he was pointing the gun at me. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I have to do this. Okay. I thought that was Mike. <laughs> All right. I said I'll, that if I just, you know, that, I guess. work with him, then everyone, nobody would get hurt, so. All right, we got, uh... Benjamin Clark didn't report his vehicle stolen, so I imagine that probably was the other individual then. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull the one out for his arrest. Time for it. Do you think he would have hurt somebody? Uh, you, you or or for us, your very easy to find. Part, so. That was pretty crazy. I never seen a, a fox as a criminal before. You know Copy that. Mind if we start for some sandwiches? And hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have just went like yeah, you could have just made that straight away and you would have made it there. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. It's, it's good. But yes, we can go to the story. Thank you. Uh, well there you guys go. I guess you guys saw someone get arrested, right? That was crazy. Yeah, my man got it all got it all. Yeah. I was chasing after someone, and then they got into another car and took off. Oof. Ephraim. What, hey, you said uh, what he was wearing, I mean, it was all blacked out, but Benjamin Clark usually had, like, bluish hair, uh, glasses. Hey, well, worst comes to worst, we can always just, um, you know, wait for him to get his clothes changed or whatever, and if it's Benjamin Clark, it's Benjamin Clark. Gotta buy a bunch of sandwiches. Oh my gosh. Damn, you must be hungry. Push my ass out of the way. I am hungry. Apparently, yeah, I can see that. I'm always hungry. I already have four of these. <laughs> Stop giving them to me. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I do. You look, you see where it's going? In the trash. Oh, never mind. It's a lot better when it's there. I'm leaving. <laughs> Officer froze. Weasel News Magazine in trash. It wasn't a Weasel News Magazine. <laughs> Whatever. It's a magazine. It was my magazine you ass had. <laughs> what makes that? I already have five. You handed me the other one last time you got arrested. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a great way of promoting my, uh, magazine. <laughs> Got that. Even at Solar Cops, you know? There it is. <laughs> See, I don't do crime for the money. I do it for the fame. <laughs> hey, if I remember being in a 1011 with a Lexus, I believe, that just did a sick drift in front of me. Oh, that's VU, no additional things at this time. Yeah, we're gonna be leaving with a citation for that sick drift you just did. I'm not driving, I'm in the passenger. Mm. Fair enough. Alright, can I get your license and registration? We'll count the windows down first. Here, I'll just... uh, uh, Who are those people? Are they cadets? They're uh, Weasel News. Weasel News? Yes. Yes, sir, we're Weasel them. News. We, uh, we're here to report on all the crimes happening today, and we're following this officer, this magnificent. Great, amazing. Cody, they're harassing us, man. Yes, and drift we're here to put in here. Report on any yeah, crime. private property. Okay, yeah, you did it on strawberry, then. So. Eh, no, I didn't. I did it on PPG. 
Okay, but I need I need the one in the passenger seat. Can I have him? Yeah, I'm getting off. Uh, uh, no. What? No, you don't just yeah, get out of the 1011. <laughs> just wait till yes, done. Hey, yes, hey, he's going to get out of the hey, car. Hey, no, hey, he's Ray, not getting hey, out of the yes, yes, he is. Listen, I, I know her. Trust me, you, you can trust her, all right? I also I know Cody. I need him. I know. Okay, I you can get him after I'm done the traffic stop. All we want is some damn cupcakes, officer. You don't need I just need your license, registration, proof of insurance. About uh, boss, CBDB. I got you. No, not yours. I need his license, insurance. There you go, officer. There you go. Yes, I know you're Kodiak. I know, I know the tattoos. Oh, I got new ones that do like them. They do look very nice, but I'm taking. Yeah, right. Anyway, can I get your license, registration, proof of insurance, driver? Uh, let me look, man. Got no Muglo box speech. Damn, why do I have so many papers in here? Figure out who he's taken by. The inside uh, scoop of the officer's relationship. Uh, oh, there's my drawing. Drew, wait, who who should we talk to? Hmm, pills. Let me eat those real quick. Do you just take pills? In okay. Front of me? Yeah, they're prescribed. What are they? Painkillers. Okay. Uh. -oh. So you mind if I have a word with the uh, the suspect? I mean, as long as he's fine with it, yeah. How so, can they help? Uh, Mr. Suspect, uh, I just have a few questions for you. Um, why were you pulled over? Uh, for uh, being too fly and dripping and dipping on the the VU property, apparently. Okay, is that like um uh like a what language is that? Uh, I'd be swinging and banging, you know. Okay. Um. Can you translate? Yeah, he he did a cool drift into the VU property. Oh, oh, you, you did a cool drift, um, cool drift into the VU parking lot. Um, do you oh, think you, you ski, ski. do you think you uh, should you be charged for this? Is this a serious enough crime to be charged over, or should it be legal? Good, I'm glad. That's a good answer. Being silent. He, he Absolutely knows his rights. not. Oh, you shouldn't be arrested. Good. You should not be arrested. And you won't be arrested. As long as you are okay with identifying yourself and giving me your license and strains. There you go. Alright, perfect. I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay. Is this your vehicle? Uh, no. Alright. Sir, um, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? Uh, I model. You model for what? Uh, uh okay, that, that sounds uh, pretty interesting. Um, Wait, when you get us up. Copy that, can you go in the Ladies and gentlemen, the situation has now gotten even more dangerous. It seems that there's one, two, three police officers. Oh, we have move, move. We're in the line of fire. This is why y'all get fucking shot. It's pulling off. Okay, I'm in the back seat now. Honestly, it's probably just going back to VU to be honest with you. Can I, can I quickly stop and get out and get in the front? Out. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. <laughs> So, did he have a warrant? Is that why he ran off? Is there any yeah, so that was the individual that we had earlier. And, like, from the, the one pull pullover, and then he was driving Marshall Ping once who had the warrant earlier. 
Oh, I see. He seemed pretty angry. He said that that's why cops get shot. Do you have anything to say on that? Yeah, so, uh, sorry. So the thing with that, the reason why, oh, she came. So the reason why we uh, had a gun out to him was because it was a code five. Code five is a felony stop. If you do a felony, the reason why we start with a, a lethal is because it's easier for us to withdraw to a non-lethal if he doesn't have any weapons or anything, right? We don't know if he's got a weapon in that vehicle. So, yeah, A frame. Yeah, a frame, yeah. So, it was. So, the thing was the vehicle was owned by Marshall Penguin. I was over. Too. And then the driver was the Ashleba, who was the individual that was pulled over that um, took off and got into that Corvette earlier. Which just means that those two obviously work, know each other and everything, so. So this is where the fun part is. Do you have any word on where the suspect is? Uh, negative. No, they they lost him. That car is a lot faster than what we have. So. Dang. But see, but we can go and look. So now we know that even Ashaba is the owner of Bahama Manas. Looking up on his thing, that means we're gonna go to Bahama Manas and see if he's there. 102 dispatch. I currently looked up the profile of Mr. Ashleba. It seems like he's the owner of Bahama Mamas. So we're going to currently go down there now. Wait for him. Good luck on your time trial. Yeah, I know what you mean by those those locals, man. He just stopped right in front of you. See what I mean? Yeah, it's it's crazy. And see, obviously, the reason why they stopped is because of the lights, which is all fine and dandy. I just wish they would stop properly. Is the yeah? And those guys go left. Exactly. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad you're getting some video evidence of this because. <laughs> but. But yeah, so people like that is usually the people that we do end up dealing with constantly. Hold on, um, bro. <laughs> because of, you know, stuff like that and everything, so. And we'll also, with that level of angriness, is also why we usually go lethal before non lethal. Because, and I quote the guy, the other guy said, This is why you guys always get shot. It's not so, very angry. Yeah. Which, I mean,. You look in his, you look in what he's saying with that, it makes total sense, right? I understand, like, why am I getting held up at gunpoint? But then again, those guys drove off. You know, they've also said they would be, like, yeah, you know, this is why they get shot and everything. And we also don't know what they have on them. They know what they have on them. I don't. I don't know if you have a weapon or not. I'm just asking you to step out of the vehicle because that vehicle is owned by someone that has a warrant. And plus, he also has a warrant because he said that's his name. So, you know. but this is where people are kind of crazy about it with me because that man owns a business, right? Yeah. Well, eventually, if he gets too many felonies and stuff on him, then we'll just take him to court for his business. Because if if he's running, you know, he can lose his business license due to that. So, how uh, how many felonies does it take to lose a business license? So it definitely depends on it, and also it depends if you get expungement as well. So there's like there's a court system and everything where, obviously after, where the hell did that car come from? I don't know. Um, obviously after a while, like you can get expunged on your crimes and everything, and you won't get uh, any types of charges or anything. You, all your charges will get dropped, your reports will get deleted, and everything. You'll be free and everything. Um, so you can do that and everything, but it, it would just depend on. It depends on the felonies as well. Like, obviously, if you're constantly shooting cops, you're robbing banks and stuff like that. If we take you to court to make you lose your business, it makes you lose your business. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty, it's pretty easy court case done and done. That makes sense. But we also, 
you know, we don't want to do that to people. Because to, to me, like, it's kind of a rude... Oh, my bad. There we go. Uh, to me, it's kind of like a... I don't know. You don't ever want to make someone lose their business, right? They usually put a lot of time and effort into everything, you know? Yeah. And stuff like that. So it's definitely like the last thing I want to do. What is going to be attempting a 1011 on a black and colored bike? Uh, currently going down Innocence eastbound. Uh, is now pulling over on Innocence facing eastbound. No additional scene at the time. Okay. Sir, are you alright? Huh? Are you alright, sir? Yeah. The you? I'm just, I'm, I'm amazing, sir. I'm just here to report the news. Okay. Alright, sir, my name's uh, Jay Avery with the LSPD. You know what I put you over to? No. You kind of drove pretty fast to the intersection as well as, uh, you know, you went on the opposite. You you like lane splitted a car through an intersection. You know, any any chance you could like, you know, possibly back the fuck up? Can, can you repeat that? This guy with the fucking boom mic. You wanted to back up? Yeah. Absolutely, sorry, I can do that. Days. Thank you very much. Alright, so does that make sense to why I pulled you over now? To be honest, I wasn't listening, but yeah. Some suspects, they, they're not really fans of being on camera, right. so, so we have to respect that. It's, it's part of the law. You want my license? Preferably, yeah. There you go. Alright, Mr. Johnny Stane, I'll be right back with you. Is this your vehicle? Uh, yeah. Alright, perfect. I'll be right back with you then. Alright. Oh, that's a slow walk. You getting good eyes on this? Yes, sir. Oh, goody. You want to see me do a wheelie? No. No, it's all right. I can't. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a uh, a warning. I'm guessing you were heading to the VU. No, I was. I don't know. So I don't know where I was going. I was just. I drove past all. Uh, I got. I got a receipt. And I was gonna head back. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. So I was heading to the. I was heading to the bank. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to go back to the VU to let them know I'd left. And now I'm going to the bank. Okay. And then I'm going to your mother's house. You get your tower high for me? No. You look bold. Are you bold? I am bold. That's a shame, that. Well, I didn't ask you to take that off. I just asked if you were bold. So that's to be bold on the force. Mm. My uh, Wait, my fellow old eyebrows. park ranger, my fellow old park ranger used to, he he went bald, so I decided to oh, shave man. for him. Sounds a bit, a bit fruity, but alright. Is right. he the, in the relationship with you? Is that the officer wants in the relationship with you? <laughs> no, that's that's uh, you're free you're free to go by the way, sir. Alright, I kind of no. want to hear this. No, that's uh, that's Officer Miller. Officer Miller. Yeah, Officer Millie. She takes me to Pound Town. Jesus. Alright, see you later. <laughs> Can't have a good, Gosh. Good day. <laughs> I should cut that out, right? Yeah, probably probably not good for uh, ratings. <laughs> we have a lot of family-oriented people that would blow a fuse if they heard that. 
Yeah, not put. She takes me to Pound Town <laughs> on the nearest scrolling <laughs> allegation. So, uh, what That's rank true. is this officer of what you're dating? It's a deputy chief. Oh, damn, you reach high. <laughs> I'm the assistant chief, so you know. Um, sir, I think that's... Is that how you're the assistant chief? <laughs> no, negative. The chief, the chief made me. Sir, I think that's all the time I have for today's, um, recording for our new show, Cops. Um, okay. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind just dropping me off at Weasel News. Of course. Well, I appreciate the time. Obviously, uh, you know, if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate. Talk to a high command officer. We can get you on more ride alongs, no problem, and everything. So, absolutely, sir. It's illegal dating coworker. Yeah, fraternizing. <laughs> sir, is it legal to fraternize with other officers? Is it legal to? Yes. Yeah, of course. Of course, it's legal to. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know if it was like uh, against the law or something. No, I mean, it's usually frowned upon. I mean, to be fair, the chief was banging the cadet a while ago. So That, so <laughs> that sounds pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> the chief was banging a cadet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then that cadet got shot, so. Oh. That cadet died, so. Dang. Oh. Jesus. All right, thank you uh, for letting us do this show. Uh, hopefully, we'll have it edited soon, and you know Should we you have. Say anything to the camera? Oh yeah, if you could say one thing, um, what could you say? Um, what's what's your freeze? You, you know, Boomski. Boomski. All right, all right. We restart that. We restart that. All right, sir. So if you could say one thing for the camera, what would it be? Boomski. Let's go. You heard it here. Boomski, Sky Olsen, and Officer Avery. Uh, Weasel News. And we're out. All right, sweet. All right, thank you for your time. That was That's going to be amazing. Yeah, of course. I, was, I appreciate it, guys. It was fun. So much footage. It's going to be great. <laughs> that's going to be great. All right. Uh, wait, Officer? Yes. I cannot type. That's for you. Oh. I'll see you back. I appreciate you guys. Ten you guys four. stay safe out there, right? Ten four, co four. Hey, firm. Did you get out my truck, man? What do you mean? Today was a Monday and you're around at 8 p.m. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> kill him. Dude, if I kill them, I'll lose my business. I, I have plans though to like mess with the cops. And like spin new stories. Alright, that was a pretty successful day. Um, we got lots of footage. Uh-huh. All right, so um, feel free to just, you know, walk around the building, just explore if you want to. Um, mm -hmm. I probably won't be here for a little bit, but, um, right. you know, if if you have any independent news stories you're trying to do yourself, feel free. Um, okay. If you need to contact me, I will, you know, the, the Weasel News forums, you know, you sh I think you're already on there. Um, mm -hmm. You can just contact me there at any time. But yeah, I appreciate you helping me today. And uh, hopefully we can get some more news stories and bring the truth to the people of the city. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll see you around. Yeah. Alright, you too. Alright, that's gonna be it. I plan on streaming for, like, not even that long. I was just gonna do the interviews. And then... And then I just got tied into all that. But yeah, that was pretty fun. Okay. Oh yeah, see, if you want to join the, the RP server, I think it, it, they made it public, so there's no whitelist anymore. Um, but yeah, okay. Alright, peace.